Hello, everyone. Happy Friday to <clears> you, <throat> and welcome to Missed Opportunities here on Lawful Stupid RPG. I am your host, DM Spooky Conjurer uh, Peter. I'll be running the game for you, and we have our cast of characters. We have Jade. We have. Oh, why don't you introduce yourselves if you would like to begin? So. I'm in seven Probably campaigns. Jade. I can't remember my name. Uh, I know, right? No, I'm Jade. Uh, yeah, I'm Jade. I am playing um, Elimus, who is a young 18 year old wizard, the half sister of Essie. <clears throat> I guess that's my cue. Hi, I'm Oath. I'm playing Essie, um, Eli's older, more mature sister, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but um just a happy go lucky bird who uh is really fun i love her so much cool someone <laughs> looks like she's about to pipe in and introduce herself <laughs> I guess i'll go <laughs> was just like waiting um my name is liz i am playing maris paradel a half elf cleric um with a somewhat impulsive nature and a dark past mm. i'm kyle and i'm playing sorry if and i'm a lizard um i'm sean and i'm playing jesualdo tocarembo la tombe del fuego santa malipa zacateca the hotel sale cruze de la rosa who is a hero <laughs> i like it in his own mind <laughs> <laughs> Introducing himself in character, even. Yeah. And we will have um, Elena with uh, uh, with Claire, the paladin, coming a bit later as well. She will join us um, about halfway through. So, anyway, let's get into it then. In Faerun, wizards research into the intricacies of the magical weave. Dragons sit upon their hordes of treasure, Orcs thunder across the plains and beholders cower in long abandoned castles. But beyond the mortal plane, past the realms of the elements, and removed even from the oppressive dark of Shadowfell, another kingdom lies. In it, a castle sits above a sea of swirling mist, and a lone figure walks the parapets, his cold footsteps echoing through the realm, and his sorrow defines it. None can bring light without bringing darkness to it. None can bring joy without their suffering. And in Barovia, those who suffer do so in perpetuity. Let us go then, you and I. Last we left off, the characters made it to the village of Barovia and met both Ismark and Irena Koliana. After speaking to them, Ismark requested that the party take his sister away from Barovia. It was revealed that the vampire Strahd had bitten her and now has bitten her twice. He fears for her life and wants the party to take her away to safety. They agreed under the condition Irena's condition, that the party helped bury her recently deceased father in the church grounds. And upon going to the church, the party discovered a priest cowering alone in the church building, and from beneath the floorboards was echoing the hungry, deranged cries of the man's son, Priest Donovich told the party that he had been down there for a month after having returned from an expedition against the ruler Strahd, a failed coup, as it were. So now, the party gathered, sits outside the church, and we await their plan. So, what do you all do? As you can see, the church is in front of you here. 
It is cracked and worn, falling apart. The sepal sags just a bit to the side, and a few lanterns cast a glow from within. Your paladin Doctor. friend brought you here, told you essentially the situation. She has gone inside and is now praying with the priest. I don't think that the people of Barovia are very keen on going to church. Right. Looks a bit fucked, doesn't it? Would you, by looking at the place? No, most definitely not. I guess we go inside. I'll start walking in. Okay. After you. The front door is ajar. And as you guys enter, you can see to the right, there is sort of an abandoned room. The roof partially collapsed above it. And ahead of you, one moment is the chapel area which is in really in shambles there are overturned broken pews littering a dusty floor and dozens of candles on uh, mounted on candelabra around just even though it's daytime this is morning there the dusky shadows of this land seem to just hang around the sun never shines directly and they're these can these candelabra are placed around it almost as if they're fending off the darkness at night and just trying to keep some semblance of true light within this place um and then at the far end is this claw scarred altar it seems to be scratched at and behind it kneels a priest in soiled vestments and then next to him your friend claire sits prayers to Lathander and to the morning lord you hear echoing through the chamber there are three other doors that have not been opened as well you're more than welcome to drag a character icon on for reference if you would like uh, no no because that makes it official that means there's definitely a combat Well, you never know. <laughs> so Maris remembers from having come with Claire. Um, oh, that's right. You were with them as well. I was. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> um, my my impulse, she says to her compatriots would be to to explore the basement where this man is keeping his son because um, it just seems like a bad situation however it's apparently also a dangerous situation so I don't know how to proceed are we here to slay him I'm wondering if he's been turned into a vampire as well and then I feel like that wouldn't leave us much of a choice no it would well, if it was how a long vampire. has he been down there hmm? how long has he been down there he's been down there a month um, and apparently refusing food that his father puts down but complains constantly of being hungry for blood yes yeah. I would say that's a pretty good clue mm. It's not a full vampire. They would have broken out of there a long time ago. This is still a the, dangerous creature. The um, soft conversation you're having, as well as the chanting coming from the altar, is pierced again by that voice you heard echoing up through the cracks below you. And it says, This father, have you brought someone here? Who's there? I hear, I hear the thumping of the footsteps. I hear... Thumping, thumping, it sounds in my ears. 
I, I really have trouble believing that anyone would want to bury their father anywhere near this place. Can I hear where the where the um, sounds are coming from? The sun. Uh, they seem to be coming from truly from beneath. There, uh, this is a wood lined sort of a, a wooden floor, um, which creaks beneath your feet occasionally. You can tell there is either it's sort of an undercroft area beneath it. Essie is just going to like with the heel of her boot on the floorboard just go and see what happens. Um, you hear silence and then what sounds like just beneath your foot. Who is it? Right. Well, at least he's somewhat sane. I smell. I hear. I, I, I smell you. I smell. I hear. What oh, I'm so of... hungry! Oh, like... And you hear what sounds like the patter of feet. Um, if we away. can hear them from below, are the floorboards, is there like a gap at all? Uh, basically, I want to lean down and see if I can get a sniff of what's down there. You can, you can certainly like... try and make a perception check. Okay. It will be nice. difficult to, through the sort of musty floor. Sure. You're welcome to try. Uh, perception. Right. Well, I know that we haven't had a bath since we were running around in that muck, but still, so rude. So very rude. Yeah. A lot of rotten wood. You get the candle oils. Uh, maybe a bit of incense that was burned around here recently, but uh, no, no. No corpses. No decay. Not, not like the offensive smell from the house before that you kind of have come to associate with undeath. I got to clear and see. What do your senses tell you? I don't know if she's got any divine um, senses left. Uh, so she will look up. Just just quickly, is my mic too loud, guys? Uh, no, you're fine. It's fine. No, it sounds good. Uh, she will look up and kind of nod and then will meet your eyes and looking sort of to the father and then to you guys a very meaningful nod like yes Okay, so um, I'm thinking that the sooner we do this, the better off everyone will be. We put someone out of their misery. We let uh, our new friends bury their father. And we take a lady away. And um, then we, we all wake up. Here? What do you think? Mm. I tap the father, the priest on the shoulders. Uh, yeah. Have you fed your you look son? like the one who led him away. I've never been here before. But your book, your staff, are you a magician as well? Well, maybe. Mm, you bring sorrow to these lands. You should know better. You should know better than to resist him. Yes. Your magic is not as powerful as his evil. What will you do if we let your son out and have to kill him? Oh, God. <sighs> We know he's far too gone. Is he? How do you know that? He could, he could, the morning lord could still, could still find a way to, you never know when the clouds will part and the sun will come down and he will, 
Search your heart, Father. Laugh again. If you are a true cleric, you know. We have divine people here. A cleric. A paladin. Intelligent people. between you. You're a man of the cloth. Surely you know this. He grasps his holy symbol. Go ahead and make a persuasion check. Oh, it's got new new things popping up on it. Yeah, they redid the interface just a bit. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, eleven. He said he looks panicked in his eyes, looking at his holy symbol, and he's. I don't, I don't know. Is are you saying it's not my son? That's what you're telling me. What is right? It's not my son anymore, right? What does your heart tell you, father? He never came back. It's the creature. Yes. You tell me. No, you're right. You've. You've, you've, you've told me, yes, he's just a creature. He cannot be saved. He must be purged, yes. He must be shown the light. Can I grasp if he's being truthful to his words, like a sense of motive? Is there a sense of motive? Uh, that would be an insight check. Insight. Which I'm not very good at. But with a dirty 20... Ooh, nice. With a 20, you will see that this is this is probably the most he's interacted with people for a while. He's very jittery and it's the way he processed that was very strange. He is it looks like he's hardly slept, maybe once every other night and he is so troubled. He's almost looking at anything to end this current predicament. Okay. Um, he is jumping to the conclusion readily that this isn't his son and is reinforcing that narrative in his own head um, at sort of the mention of being undead. In the eyes, though, there is... Beyond that weariness is a spark of perhaps just a waning sanity mm. yeah I place my hand upon his shoulders let's do the he right thing a bit, but yeah. let's do the right thing father and I will try to use my hypnotic gaze on him Ooh. for a DC okay. 14 wisdom save I look straight into his eyes and he was never seen again. <laughs> um, I have a cast disintegrate. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, problem this solved. Go in one direction. Yay! Uh, I have an eleven as a result, so it was a failure. <laughs> he doesn't know that I've obviously only lasted to the end of next term, but I just try to make him see sense. Okay. Essie, Essie, do you have any of those um, uh, baked goods that uh, the lady was selling last night? I do. I look oh, at well, this would be a perfect opportunity. Great idea. I can keep that gaze up, by the way, every turn. He yep. gets the same. Yep. Right. Uh, I guess I take one of my pastries out of my bag. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will go up to the father. He's just staring. So sit down, eat. At Elimus. My sister here, you know, she, she brings you good food. We will take care of your son for you. You look very hungry. Um, he you kind of just reaches himself? out his hand. It's less, there's not a lot of awareness there. It's almost like you're marionetting him through the hypnosis. He just kind of reaches out his hand. She's just gonna hand it over. Okay. And, uh... He just takes a big bite. Not another. Some juice kind of runs down his chin. Drips. 
drips onto the cloth, even a pe- couple pieces of the potato and mincemeat fall off and kind of stain across his vetiment. As he just shoves it all in. I'll, uh, help, I'll uh, help him to a seat. Okay. Or a pew. You, and let him as you do so, yeah, almost immediately he uh, gives in to your command and just completely passes out. Right, well, you owe me a gold coin. Essie, please do not eat one of them. Oh, God, no. No one I should. Dr- I, I bought them to drug people with. I wouldn't actually eat them. <laughs> That's a good, a good point. I, I should have known that. Obviously. You know, who knows what life brings. Remember that one time uh, we almost got kidnapped by these one people. It would have been really handy then. Right, well, mm. maybe we should check to see if he has a key or anything like that. Maris, what have you got that can aid us against this creature? Um, did you remember your spells? Oh my gosh, you know, I <laughs> think I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, um, I mean, it's hard for me to know since I picked the wrong ones at first. <laughs> well, you know, as a cleric, they can change every day. Right, 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 right. Okay, so I have a quick question. Um, so using the D&D Beyond uh-huh. format, um, so, like, how do I get to determine, like, which spells that I use? Because there's, like, a list of ones that I've learned. Yeah. So are those all at my disposal, or is it, yeah. like, I pick yes. a as a As a cleric, you can switch up every long rest. Okay. Um, and we haven't had a long rest. What spells you prepare for the day. We have. You have. Right. We have. Oh, thank God. That's really good news for my hit points, so that's good. Right, and yeah. so you, you, you sort of try and figure out, well, what am I going to be doing today? Am I going to be doing a lot of talking and investigating, in which case I should probably use these spells, or am I going to be going into battle? Am I, is my job going to be to get up there and kick butt in the front, in which case I should take these spells, or if I'm going to be healing, then at least that's, you have to do that with every long rest. Okay. You typically don't need healing spells, though. So. No, yeah, clerics, that, that's really not their thing. <laughs> you know, I what kind of cleric. Heals? I didn't think it was, so I didn't include any of those. <laughs> okay, great. We'll be Good. fine. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Uh, awesome. Cool. Uh, so, just while they go ahead and make an investigation check as you search through the priest's clothes and whatnot. Uh, just a quick question to those uh-huh. that, might, that may know: the, my hypnotic gaze is that something that I can do like constantly or? Because it doesn't say anything. It's got like a tick box to it, but there's nothing that says you can only do this once per long rest. Really? I uh, think if it has a tick box to it, once you use it, like, how, do you have like a lot of tick boxes? No, it's, it's a weird thing. It's just got the one, but it says special. As an action, choose one creature that you can see or hear. You five foot that must make a wisdom save, or be charmed until the uh, charmed until the end of the next turn. The charm creature's speed drops to zero. Blah blah blah. You can use your action to maintain this effect on subsequent uh, subsequent subsequent turns. But doesn't mention anything or everything else that I've got says like arcane recovery says yeah so once every long rest. When it finishes, uh, once this effect ends, or if the creature succeeds on its initial saving throw against this effect, you can't use this feature on that creature on... again until you finish a long rest. Oh, so, so I can keep using it on other things. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Which okay. Is... Right. Really nice. Yeah. This priest does nothing. Sorry. Yeah, uh, you. There's like this. There's a really oily meat pie he just ate, and. Um, I mean, I look for an, kind the, of. Char- in the, look there. In the yeah. normal <laughs> places, I look in his pockets. I look around his neck, anywhere that someone might keep a key. But uh, only a holy symbol. Um, all right. Doesn't even even have have any coin in his pockets or anything like that. Well, I hope that there's nothing locked where we're going. Right, it's not like you can't pick locks. Well, that is true. I have learned many skills in my life. You've shown us those skills before. <laughs> I have so many more to show you. I would rather not see those. I, I understand. Right. <laughs> Glad we're on the same page here. Lyra's cracks a slight, faint smile. Anyway, Maris, what do you have that can help us against this creature? Well, um... I have now that you've prepared. 
now that you've prepared <laughs> now that i've prepared um you know i have that cutie little bless that i can give to my compatriots but then also a spell that i think may be useful is um ah so many tabs okay um is do, do, do. she's googling right now she's i'm like just, yeah just one second it's she didn't tab. do it or she didn't prepare <laughs> she's got, a, she's got a tablet out. best skills to prepare as cleric level yeah three. she's Google got a tablet right now. going against vampires <laughs> what's the best spells? i look a bit closer i'm breaking up i'm breaking up i go look a bit closer what's the wi-fi like here <laughs> Um, but protection from evil and good. Well, that's a good very one. good spell. A good one good for my friendos today. <laughs> and um, I didn't have to Google search that one. Thank you. <laughs> do you also have a thing? I've seen other clerics do it. They're very useful. Um, turning around the undead creatures. They come at you, you do something, and they run away. Do you have that? Um, I don't believe I do, but that could potentially change in the future. I would be very disappointed if a cleric did not have that. I really think you'd have that, Liz. <laughs> um, I... <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a spell. It's your... Um, yeah. It's one of your cleric abilities. Your second level ability, I think, right? Yes. Yeah, be on the uh, features and traits. Yeah. Do, 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 do. So, like, Channel once a day, divinity. you can turn undead away from you and they will run but we don't want them to run uh, you should have two things that you can do with channel divinity one of them is turn undead and the other one is something special um, based on whichever you picked beep boop bop i so it would be under my features and traits features and, yeah, features and traits it should be because i don't see turn undead i have warding flare channel divinity and radiance of the dawn channel divinity is it there should be oh, two yeah. options under there yeah oh haha -ha, yes i mean i do have that yeah absolutely <laughs> oh i'm so relieved <laughs> oh thank god we're With going pain. to be just fine everybody no don't problem panic don't panic <laughs> sarif board up a board up the door we don't want this creature escaping right but first don't you think we have to get do we, do we know where it's at wherever it is it's but... surely gotta be in one of these rooms Right, I open this door. No, no, don't open anything yet. I open this door. Oh, too late. <laughs> okay. It swings open easily. I sigh a huge there... relief. <laughs> I'm going to and... turn to them with a surprised look on, our, on my face and go, there's a stairwell. There's I'm not just kidding, a it's a bedroom. Yeah. There's <laughs> a dirty room with a wooden bed and what seems to be a straw-filled mattress. There's a little oil lamp burning next to the bed and above the bed's headboard is a wooden shaped holy symbol a wooden sun shaped holy symbol wood is not a shape so a wooden shaped holy symbol it's just wood we need to um, we need to stop this creature from escaping i go into What's, this room next to me well, look around you there's holes in every single wall i i, I don't think we could board them all up uh, our best bet will be to stop him from coming up at all. Right. You are aware that he's probably tied up down there, and we can just kind of just... Well, we heard him walking right. around. Yeah, I don't know if he's tied up. And he could hear us anyway. The, uh, sorry, this room has clearly seen the effects of time and neglect. There are holes punched into the ceiling. There is mold everywhere. A few broken roof shingles are lying amid puddles of water in one corner set into the floor is a heavy wooden strap door that is held shut with a chain and padlock and more clearly than before you hear a voice echo up father i don't hear your whispers anymore have they done something to you did they smell your blood too Father? Father! 
Oh, um, uh, um, uh, everything is fine, son. Um, uh, I'm just uh, resting. Uh, I am, um, you know, uh, um, sitting down and uh, having a think. Uh, Go ahead and make a deception check there. <coughs> I think it's warranted. I see she's going to look down the hallway at just Waldo. And just mouth. <laughs> Fuck. Actually, let's check. Uh, <laughs> you want to do it, I can tell. <laughs> you talking strange, father. What did they do to you? Uh, I just ate one of these pies. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have mentioned food. I um, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna. I I have to go out. I'm I'm leaving. Uh, I I'll be back um later on. I hear them all thumping upstairs. Thumping, thumping, thumping. So many, so many uh, uh, thumping. We've got to take care of this. This guy's driving me nuts. Um, do we? Ha is there anything in the altar? Right. I once, I once went to a church one time, and behind the altar there was a bottle of alcohol. Is there anything behind this altar? Go ahead and make an investigation. He looks shocked when he says he's been to church. I said yeah, once. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just, you've been to church. There's well, this beautiful right. nun. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, right, that makes sense. Uh, nothing um, that you can find is a solid altar, though there are... Uh, intense scratch marks that seem to have been clawed across the top of it. Um, so put my hand stone. on this, put my hand on the scratch marks and I want to see how big of a claw are we talking here? It makes you feel like you have little hands because they are splayed far apart. Oh my. All right. There's so also a rope dangling above you, you notice. I pull it. Doom, doom. You seem to ring the bell and a bunch of bats you can hear being disturbed from up in the belfry. Does that Is it nighttime? Scaring out yeah. into the daytime. It's always okay. nighttime. Does that Sorry. summon the rest of the vampires? No, okay. no it scared them away. Look. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, if we ever go against vampires, all we know is you just make really loud noises. I'm very good at that. Let's check these other rooms before we take on the creature. Right. Yes, can I, I look agree. in? I guess can I look in these other rooms while they're doing sure. stuff? Down here, there is a dirty, just lightless room with a wooden bed and a straw-filled mattress, and again, a holy symbol mounted above the bed. It seems to be. Uh, vacant for quite a while. We'll search this um, chest right here, next to the bed. Uh, it's an end table with a lamp, an oil lamp that's just ah, sitting upon it. Okay. Uh, and then over here to the northeast, there is uh, an old desk chair that's against uh, the wall and uh, sitting at a desk and a wooden same holy symbol mounted above them in the shape of a sun. There's a 10 foot long iron rod attaching to the north wall that is bare, suggesting that a tapestry once hung there. Against the far wall stands a wooden cabinet with four tall doors. Um, can I, I would, search it? Yeah, I would like to also investigate if I take the desk, I see, do you want to take the cabinet? Sure, I'll just go for the giant cabinet with the four doors. Why not? Sounds great, okay. <laughs> you hear from the chapel a sound startling you for a second. So the priest is loudly snoring. <laughs> I hope that bastard sleeps well. He cost me one I, gold. I will uh, put him in the bedroom. Oh, it seems okay. like a nice place to sleep. What Before do you think? he does that, as I see him, oh, obviously I'm good. standing there as well. I'm just going to lift his top lip to check his teeth. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, you should check his neck as well. Oh, hmm. yeah, that's smart. Right, well, you look are we just you, touching you, upon the priest, then? You look, and it's easy enough to see. Um, his gum line's receding a bit. He looks a little bit malnourished, but the um, the incisors don't look particularly frightening. Pretty normal. <laughs> okay. Seems to have some crown work done a long time ago. <laughs> oh, he's fancy. You know, okay. Yeah. Good idea putting him in his bed. I don't even offer to help, and then I'll just... I, I, no <laughs> problem, I've got this. At least right, we can do it. We come into a place, we put the man to sleep. We can at least let him wake up in his bed and think, ah, I dreamed the whole thing. Wouldn't that be nice? Right, and you just dream the whole son. thing. Well, his son will likely be dead at the end of this either way. Well, is, Cla is Claire still um, praying? <laughs> Um, she will go and kneel beside him and tend to him. Okay. Yes. Well, she's coming with us, right? I don't think so. What? She's uh, she's missed not appearing in this film. It's a missed opportunity right there. Um, Essie, did you did you want to search this room? I mean, yes. I can take the cabinet. I no, I'm happy to take the cabinet. It's fine, darling. Okay. Okay, who's uh, who's doing what? I guess I'm I taking the desk, and she's searching the desk. Okay. Yes. Make investigation checks. I'm so good at that. <laughs> investigation to hit, <laughs> to hit. There you go. Sixteen. <laughs> All right. Um, and you're doing the desk. Oh God, I I clicked so many times. It's Sorry. fine. Oh, no. We'll take the second one. It's only yeah. fair. It's only fair. <laughs> We're helping. Yeah, let's just take the second one. <laughs> um. So, in the desk, uh, Essie finds um a couple pieces of paper and some uh, a few quill pens and some jars of ink. Um, Maris, uh, there are books in here. Whatever. Wait, I took the cabinet. The like the. Oh. Um. All right. Uh, well, easily enough, Maris. Uh, there's paper and ink. Boring. Um, and you find books inside the cabinet. Spell Are the books book. interesting? Spell books. Um, yeah. The you can see the titles. Um, some of them are seem to just be worn and old like types of ledgers and such but you do find um some seem to be well used you could almost see where the um where the leather has been preserved by the oils of the hand holding them um some are a bit dustier but these still have a bit of a glean to them but uh but still well worn which makes you think they're heavily used um one is called hymns to the dawn one is called the blade of truth the uses of logic in the war against the Diabolist heresies as fought by the Ulmist Inquisition. Spells right. Those two level seem three. interesting to you. Spells, level four. Right. Spells, this is like level shite. five. Uh, Eli. Yeah. Uh, here, just take these and stick them in your bag or something. Oh. And just one of Cracks these knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> And begins to work on the lock. I'll open hey. the books quickly just to see what they are. If they are spidery words or just knowledge. Um, you see one is a collection of hymns. Truly, they chant. It's like a book of prayer and stuff. Uh, the other book uh, is weird. Um, some of it makes you think of, reminds you of books from your magical studies uh, but there are also these lurid descriptions of um, cultish activities at the same time. Um, it's almost a nonsensical combination of logic exercises and devil worship. It's weird. This is bizarre. Maris, is this uh, something along your lines of work? Which is it? Sorry. <clears throat> I'll show her the books. I read the book once. Stop lying, Jaswalda. 
Right. I, I did. books don't count, though. No, it was a book. It was green. <laughs> I remember it. I, I'll show Mary's the books. I'll obviously open the pages and I'm looking through. Is there anything? Anything what stick out What were the names you? of the books again? Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. Something happened in my house. <laughs> I posted them uh, some of the... Oh, no, nah, I didn't post it to everyone. So um, one of them is called the blade of truth the uses of mm -hmm. logic in the war against diabolist heresies as fought by the ulmist inquisition mm -hmm. <laughs> and one is simply called hymns to the dawn um i mean and just waldo you can go ahead if you're working on that lock and make the i am i am and it is the other skill that i have expertise in so i'm going to just roll nice. acrobatics it should be the same bonus. And so, can she roll like investigation or like how does? Because like off the top of my head, none of it. Yeah, go ahead and make a religion applies. check to see if okay. this means anything to you. As okay. you hear, just while though this is a it's a tough lock, you but you manage to get the pins in the right direction. The trouble is it's rusty, but with just the right amount of torque. And twisting it back and forth you can hear it start to scrape and by working it slowly back and forth you're able to without snapping the tension rod twist it all the way until you hear a pop and then the lock opens comes apart and you're able to pull the chains off of each side of I, I, do, I don't pull the change i don't pull the chains i okay. look at everyone and i say um the lock is open I do not think there is going to be a way to do this quietly. He will know we are coming. I will lead. Sorry, I've just been staring at that thing. First trying to figure out if it's a door or what it is. He doesn't really get doors that much yet. <laughs> and um, then once he realized what it was, he was just waiting for everyone because he wants to get down there. Maris, um, this doesn't mean anything to you. Mm -hmm. uh, the Olmist Inquisition, you don't know what that means. Um, Diabolist heresies. I mean, part of your education was uh, you were taught about, you know, the darker side of divine beings and darker divine beings, which are sometimes worshipped and followed. Uh, but it wasn't none of these. It's it's nothing you've heard of. Uh, with some study, with some time, more than just flipping through pages, you might be able mm -hmm. to find something useful. But to to your knowledge, this this means nothing. It's a strange book. Okay. I don't think they hold much importance for me, Elimus, but thank you. No worries. Uh, maybe we should put them back then. I don't want to. I don't want to steal these from these old men. Mm -hmm. I'll go and place them on the but side. I just want to clarify, DM. You said that with study, she might be able to find something? Well, it's just uh, when she was flipping through it, none of the references, that even the chapter names and such, don't mean anything to her. So uh, perhaps with time, she could find something in it that's useful. But to on you know, immediate glance it's just a weird book logic exercises combined with descriptions of uh devilish cults essentially which why would those be together you don't really know so. okay um i'll place them on the side for later anyway so when okay. you know um okay um should we prepare before we go down there or I prepare spells. Oh right, um, I don't have any of those. No. Right, uh, I don't actually prepare any spells, so uh, I'm ready when you are. Okay, I'll stand back. Right, somebody hit save game. <laughs> <laughs> Big save button. Sorry. We have that automatic save just going on. We have no control. <laughs> right. No control. Sorry if uh, kind of looks around, sees that everyone's gathered and starts reaching out and trying to open up the door. Okay. This door is sideways. 
he hasn't seen a trap door before. <laughs> it is. It's also time has made it sort of, um, and and the rainwater has made the wood sort of swell up, and it takes some effort. Go ahead and make a strength check to try oh, and break it free. Sorry of the strong. I don't think anybody's strong except for the uh, mm. I clicked the wrong thing. There we go. Hey! Nat 20, so 19. Nice. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Though it's not your uh, your uh, normal forte, which is a great term to use for that. Um, <laughs> you uh, pull and <clears throat> it breaks open. It kind of, you almost fall backward as it uh, is loose and then you see a small ladder and then a wooden staircase descending what you'd think to be about 15 feet into the abyss which if you guys scroll over to your right you will see slightly illuminated I like both my eyes and then immediately rush down the stairs okay Um, well there it goes right seems like he was very excited Uh, I guess we're going as well how, what's the range of your dark vision? Mine. I don't. I don't have any. Oh, you don't. <laughs> okay, you're you're in darkness. <laughs> That's fine. I'm. Uh, yeah, I'll be heading behind. I've got light on, so I'm okay. going to stay close to the light. Right. I guess I will uh, follow in the back. Yeah, Maris <laughs> can bring up the rear because she does have dark vision. Oh, great! The wizards well, on. You the should front. be in the front then. <laughs> Well, he just ran in ahead of me. <laughs> right. Well, I like how the two people who have dark vision are If like, he we'll keeps doing that, if he keeps doing that, then eventually it won't be a problem anymore. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Um, so, Elimus, your light is able to cast a glow and reveal most of this uh, undercroft area here. They are rough-hewn walls made of damp clay and earth. Uh, rotting wooden pillars. Um, you can hear them creak and strain under the weight of this wooden ceiling, which is the floor of the church above. Mm-hmm. You see a pretty effect, actually, as candlelight sort of just comes through it like little razor thin slits of light patterning the ground. As your eye follows this pattern, you see in the corner it falls across a gaunt shape crouching in the back. I'm scared. Yeah. Eyes look up to you. I don't know what I was expecting for that. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Who are you? Creature? It seems to be looking directly at uh, Saurive. Do I get a smell of death down here? Well, Does he look human? Fully human? He looks human ish, but emaciated, very elongated incisors, pale skin, almost, <clears throat> and uh, the skin is hanging on him. It almost looks like it's paper thin has become very white. His hair is ragged and thinning and the, the look in his eye is unmistakably ravenous. I walk in. We've come to end the hunger. Yes. I just start walking towards him. Okay. You end it? He kind of cowers into the corner. He just um, clutches his knees to his chest and is looking at you utterly afraid as you walk closer. Right. Uh, can, can, can we give him a moment before we actually kill him? <laughs> are you... Um, Talk, I'm talking to Are the you group. trying to hide that, uh, hide that uh, statement there? <laughs> no! <laughs> Kill. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, I want to give you a moment because uh, I have a few questions, actually. No. What? 
he's looking with wide eyes at you. Uh, by the way, place your tokens where you are. Saurev seems to have approached. Um, he oh, he can yeah, he can see you where you are, and he is looking past you now. Yep. And is uh, pushing himself further into the corner, like a little no, bug trying to hide away. I just I have some curious questions, darling, because you you don't seem like you want to hurt us. And uh, I'm not a big fan of being locked away in places, so I completely understand uh, your your need for other things. Uh, first of all, I guess I have to ask, uh, are you okay? No! I'm so hungry! Oh, is it? I well, smell blood! You can't have that. No. Is the door open? No, it's closed. Make a deception check. God damn it, Eli! <laughs> Six. Ooh. He looks and is um. Can I and cast he a spell? Sort of looks. Oh, oh, you you start to cast a spell? Yeah. Okay, you can see that he starts to look above him. Um, and as you begin uh, that action, you will detect your hostility and we will roll initiative. Okay. <clears throat> Demon Eli, I had questions for this man. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the door is definitely closed. No need to check on it. But yeah, it's definitely like, closed. I was about to be like, oh, uh... <laughs> It's open, but if you try to make a move for it, we will absolutely kill you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I guess we're killing this one. Wow. I had questions. Well, oh, just while I was asleep. So, what's happening? All right. It's a, with a plus seven to initiative, I have a 10. Oops. That's a bad roll. For some reason, my initiative didn't come in through. You have to have your token selected when you click it, but I, I will do. add it for I think you. It's, I think it's this roll 20 thing. Yeah. That I have. Or the the D and D Beyond thing. It looks so pretty. You guys are <laughs> you guys are fast. We were ready. Told ya. That's why I shouted surprise. Uh, <laughs> we were uh, ready. So Elimus, your your uh, he, uh, initiative has paid off. <laughs> he looks <laughs> at the creature first. and he reaches for a spider web that's just hanging there. Of course, the door's closed, sounding completely <laughs> unconvincing. And then just <laughs> puts it, rubs it between his hands, and then speaks the words out, and he tell him, and it just spurts out web all into that corner. Gross. Okay, I believe that's a deck save. The start, mm, 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 or mm, 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 mm. you can't draw a massive, thick, sticky webbing. Um, it is uh, each creature that starts its turn must take deck save. Got it. And they are anchored. So twenty by twenty feet. Yeah, you can mark this here. Yeah. Go, sorry. What color would you like your webs to be? My webs are like a white with sprinkles of like a dark, uh, dark sapphire blue. Ooh. Like a sheen. Star webbing. Yeah, like a sheen. Very nice. Well, I don't know how to do that, so. Ah. Oh. This area is now webbed. Then why did you ask? Oh. Well, you know. Oh. I got this. You also notice... Uh, what you think out of the corner of your eye within that web seems to be an enormous spider with red eyes. For a second, you wonder if something weird happened with your spell, if it went off in a different way, but as a second glance, it's gone. You hear just a, a skittering sound emanating from, when this, from within this huge uh, tangle of web that you've created. Oh, wow. I scared. <laughs> Anything else, Alimus? Um, no, he stays where he is. Okay. Essie, you are up. You see there's an enormous uh, 
Maybe you could talk to it now. Clog, clogged corner of webbing that your brother has just conjured. Over right, this corner. Well, You've never uh, seen that from him. Have I seen? I haven't seen that from him. Nope. Right. Well, that's new, and apparently, uh, no, I can't start talking to him because you just you just shot web at him. It's interesting. Yes. But highly unnecessary. I'm hoping to restrain him. He's going to go for the door. You should not have to talking to me. Well, you are talking now. Right. <laughs> so uh, she's just going to. Uh... Uh, does he have anything metal on him? Um, you I can see. make a perception check at disadvantage to try and see that because it is now obscured. It's hard to see through the webs. Okay, uh, you see at disadvantage. Uh, so, oh, this is gonna be bad. Eight. Not that you can see. Um, it, he looked to be clothed in tattered rags for the most part when you saw him a second ago before the web sprang up. Right. Uh, well, seeing as this is going absolutely nowhere and we're just going to kill him and not get any answers. Uh, I blame you, Eli, as I cast Dishonored Whispers at second level. All right. Is that a save on my part, I believe? It is. It's a wisdom save. Okay. <laughs> Um, I have a nine as a result. Uh, that does not beat it, sadly. Okay. Uh, so what is the effect? Uh, he takes 14 points of psychic damage. Um, and must immediately use its reaction to move as far away from me as possible. Okay. Um, and... It's it's just pretty much one of my hard hitting spells that I have at the moment. That cool. I'm not going. I'm not going in ick. I'm not going in the web. So you hear his breathing begin to. to um, and by the way, what do you whisper to him to cause this damage to his psyche? Ah, uh, God. Uh, it's uh, one of those things where, and I used this before. But the stream hasn't seen it, so I can use it again. <laughs> Where uh, she starts um, taking a peek at some of the um, the uh, church songs. She's just going to uh, make um, discordance uh, with the echoes. And um, it's going to be like a hauntingly familiar like church song <laughs> yeah you hear him say, oh no father don't like that song don't like it father it hurts <laughs> and then you see him just start to climb up the wall as if it's nothing and turn his head around looking in your direction I don't like that. I don't oh, like no. that so the web didn't get him oh no well we're about to see um does a 15 save yes, from your... Yes, it does. Unfortunately, look he's at very quick. You should have told him you were full of the red stuff. Red stuff. And that does come to his turn. You see he is panting, but at the start of his turn, he seems to become a bit more calm. The sinewy uh, uh, arms holding onto the wall... Um, though somewhat desiccated, though absolute look like a starved body. The flesh beneath them seems to be strong, and he is hanging onto this wall like a spider, and then looks in your direction as he thump, 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 thump here and inside, thump, 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 want it! And he just starts crawling along the side of the wall in your direction. Nope, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. <laughs> and we'll get all the way to, well, and we'll get all the way to here, and we'll 
thump down in front of you. <laughs> Hungry! Reaches out with a claw. 22 to hit. Yeah, that, that hits. Okay. That hits. He will grab you and pull you closer to him. <sighs> and you will see his jaw just open wide and unhinge. And comes down at 23 to hit on a bite. Yeah. And that's very yes. bad. As his teeth sink into your neck, you take six points of piercing damage. And then you feel your consciousness and life force just begin to leave your body. You feel tired. That's as permanent. Your, as maybe. his uh, uh, as his bite just sucks the living blood from your body. You take an additional nine points of necrotic damage, and your hit point maximum is reduced by nine. And you are grappled still. <sighs> thump, 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 thump. Life, 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 he says. Sauriv, it is your turn. Um, Sauriv, uh, you see him cast a spell. He kind of just hisses to himself a little bit, and I'm going to cast Fairy Fire. Uh, okay. I'd like to cast it kind of like right basically on this wall here so that it only hits him. It's a, it's a cube, right? 20-foot cube, yeah. Okay. Um, that's a dex save. All right. You've seen he is pretty um, he is pretty quick. But uh, how's a, is a 14 save? That is the DC. Unfortunately, so, yeah. uh, you are a little Actually... bit worried about... Yeah? Talking about cutting words, I don't know if you can do a saving throw. Just make Ability sure you check... check. Or damage roll? Yeah, so unfortunately not a saving throw. <laughs> That's alright. Uh, then as a bonus action, um, you see Sariv uh, jump into the web and turn into a giant spider. <laughs> awesome. Classic. <laughs> and this time it is a giant spider. It is sure. the size of a horse. Yeah, we're just going to make you giants there. So. All right, Maris, you are up. Okay, uh, Maris would like to bless her teammates. Um, okay, I believe you can choose three. So if I do a level two underneath cast, it says one additional target. Yep, so then you can do four. Awesome, so I'm going to bless everybody. <laughs> um, Everyone, you get a d4 to your attack rolls and saving throws. Hooray! Yes. Okay. And so then that is my action. Okay. Any movement or bonus action? Um, let's see. I think that... Ugh, this guy is so fast. I think I'll just like stay where I, where I am. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I don't think there's a bonus action I can play. I don't point. think so either. Yeah. All right. So, Jeswaldo, all of this has taken place in lightning speed in front of you. Uh, this is very bad. Um, well, I suppose we're committed now. Um, he will run forward. Have at you! And strike with his rapier. Mm -hmm. um, he gets... Uh, I believe he gets... Um, Mm -hmm. uh, advantage too because he's within range of a, an ally no, uh, you can sneak attack sneaking. you do not get advantage yeah. just checking here just checking yes that comes later okay right and he will attack with his rapier 
And as an okay. easy little thing, you can just click that D4 on Maris's Bless, and it will automatically roll a D4. I've already, you. I've already put it in. Oh, you're doing it all mm. manual like. Mm -hmm. So, uh, sixteen is my hit. Sixteen will hit. All right, I did a total of nineteen points of damage. Ooh. Is and your I... damage magical in any way? It is not. Okay. It seems a brilliant hit. Unfortunately, though, um, your the as you withdraw your blade from the torso of this creature, the wound seems small and doesn't seem to have altered its stature. It hasn't flinched from it. Uh, it feels like you didn't do as much damage as you thought it should. Hmm, that usually works. Um, right. Um, sorry. And I uh, use... Um... Fancy footwork to dance away, and I use my bonus action to dash. Okay. And I will dash there. Got and it. And I'm done. Elimus. He looks um, that, uh, as his face pulls out a small iron now and just looks at the creature and says, Get off my sister. Um, and says Adok Mania, and he just points at him um, and casts Hold Person. So Elimus would would know that um, the Hold Person spell is mm. targeting like normal humanoids and such. Yeah, I was it. Oh, okay. uh, you, you would get the sense that this transformation, the fact that he's climbing up on a wall, then that a much more powerful magic like the hold creature spell would be required oh, i didn't know that was a spell okay oh this yeah, whole... it's a higher yeah. level ability oh, okay so uh he would uh, look at the creature and will cast it will say uh magicia tell him and this four little darts will spring out and fly towards and blast the creature by casting magic missile Ooh. at second level automatic hit um have i got a roll for each one yeah i have okay that's a pain uh hang on one second let me see cast this is eight eleven thirteen damage okay it's they do 44 seem to... isn't it yeah mm -hmm. i believe so uh, and they do seem to impact him with a great deal of force. And you knock away some chunks of flesh off his shoulder, exposing the bone. And you see now blood running down, which gives you a sense of victory until you realize that that is probably not his blood that is bleeding out of his own body. Mm. You glance towards your sister for a moment. Anything else? Uh... Uh, just while has got the door, so I will move around the back here. Okay. With the light. And speaking of Essie, you see then as your brother's magic blasts some of the flesh off of this creature that is holding on to you, blood running down. And you can't, and it he's holding on to you. It runs down his arm and across the your own clothes. And you see yourself bleeding, not from the neck where he bit you, but your own blood seems to have run through his body and is now bleeding onto you from another source. What do you do? <laughs> I worked hard to have that blood in my veins. And you are not going to take it from me. And she's going to cast a sonnet whispers again at second level. Okay. Nice. All right. Um, and I'm just rolling a lot of 14s on my wisdom saves. How's that do? Misses. Nice. Yeah, that's a 15 on your save, isn't it? It is. Cool. Um, very good. So he will release his grapple. And what is your damage for that? Uh, 20. Oh, nice! That's a, that's a good lot. one. 
That's a he very powerful condition at risk first. In pain, um, just the gaping maw of red soaked teeth uh, from beyond it are just a scream of absolute agony as he runs backwards through here. Go ahead. And he Run into the moles of our spider friends. Again, roll <laughs> uh, a dexterity saving throw as he enters it for the first time. Um, and of at this point. Yes, he does yes, get a tackle of opportunity, it. and I'm also with the um, threat of running into our spider friend, giving our spider friend inspiration. Okay, B bardic inspiration. Okay, bardic uh, inspiration. well, cool. So it, you can make your attack, and then what do you, spider. <laughs> what do you say to inspire your spider friend? Uh, pretty much uh, threatening the. Uh, I said, uh, "Go ahead, run into the, the moles of our spider friend." And um, kind of just inspiring him, like I guess encouraging him being a spider. I don't know. It's spider cool. friend, spider yeah. friend. I got it. I got right. it. Um, Elimus, the creature becomes entangled. Oh, nice! In your web, Essie, you can make an attack of opportunity if you have a weapon drawn. I mean, she would have. Actually, no, she doesn't have. Does does Sarif get range? If he's large. It depends on the yeah, or reach, creature. reach. Sorry, mm -hmm. yeah. Not not generally. I'm no. uh, you. Don't, you don't have to declare that you draw a wep drew a weapon. If if having a rapier out is your typical battle stance, that's fine. Yeah, and like you, having yeah. a rapier out mm -hmm. would be her typical battle stance. Okay, great. Yeah, then go ahead and make that attack. Okay, cool. Uh. And then I get a D4. So 14 to hit. Uh, unfortunately, um, the hide, it, the, uh, the, or the way it moves is just a bit too quick for you. You think you've got this as it, dart, as it turns its back. And you're just going to stab it in the back. But the footsteps just move so fast. And you just the tip of your rapier just, re, just misses as you reach out to stab. <laughs> this is fine. Yeah. Anything else? No, nope. that's it. You see the damage that Elimus has done before. The flesh seems to creep up and close up around its shoulder. It seems to have healed. And looking at its predicament, it uh, screams. <laughs> and... It will try to break free of this webbing. Uh, he makes a strength check at a 21 and that tears fell. himself. <laughs> Deception check. <laughs> at super disadvantage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it looks at the giant spider and <laughs> no, not food, not food, not food, and starts to run away. Um, you can make an attack of opportunity, Sarif. Your spider form. Is it? Unfortunately, an eight does not quite do it. Oop, five, 10, 15, 20, 29. And it stops here and gazes up the stairs towards. Um, Towards this water. Let me go. Let me go. I'm no, not here. And ends its turn like that. Sarif. I uh, spin my butt around and shoot a web at him. Okay. <laughs> a butt web. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the butt um... stuff. <laughs> oh, jeez. Seven. What's the inspiration? Is a D six? I believe so. It is. I don't think it's. I can't and you do also it. have bless. <clears throat> all right. All bless. right. I will. I will put both of those on. And you might. Have you still got inspiration? Yeah, I use the inspiration and the and the bless. And holy crap, that will do it. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> you needed <laughs> every one of those points, but that goes from a seven to a fifteen, which is pretty nuts. Um, in spidered man, you are indeed. So yes, <laughs> you are in spidered. Um, oh. Yes. Uh, so what's the effect of that? Uh, it's he's restrained, and as an action, he can make a DC twelve strength check to burst out. Got it. Okay. Or he can destroy it. Uh, you see him kind of pinned against the wall against with a uh, number of webby strands around him. Nice picture. Cool. And that's the damage? Um, it doesn't do any damage. Oh, it doesn't do any damage. He's just restrained. Got yep. it. Cool. Maris, you're up. You see hey. this thing has now become webbed to the wall. Yes. Uh, Maris would like to take this opportunity to cast Scorching Ray. Ooh. Your woods. And so she'll send all three of the little rays of fire clearly at the one baddie. Not, not anywhere else. Okay. Okay. You can make those attacks at advantage as he's a restrained target. Um, Okay. Well, then I will. Natural. Uh, though you still have advantage, so that, that doesn't right. define the role. So. Wow. Good grief, really? <laughs> <laughs> Why, go ahead and refresh your page on D&D Beyond. It looks like you might have had. Uh, you, you rolled the exact same. Oh, no, it, it rolled the damage differently. So that was oh, just a no. weird coincidence. So yeah. unfortunately, the first one will miss. Uh, Saurif, does your web get affected by fire? Um, it has AC 10 and 5 HP and has vulnerability to fire damage. Okay. Does it do like extra damage to the creature though? Because my web does. If it's put uh, on fire. No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Not like your web. Well, okay. So Maris, I believe Scorching Ray has multiple beams yeah. that go out. It does, so yeah, three. The first one is missed uh, with double natural one, unfortunately. Uh, okay. So then do I get to roll yep. the, the second others? and third okay. beam, yep. Great. And the first the second one is still at advantage. Um though okay. as this thing is completely surrounding him and entrapping him, I believe a da an instance of fire damage will do the full damage to the creature, but also the web restraining it. I think that only makes sense. <laughs> Flaming sphere is not the spell. Oh, bleh, sorry. <laughs> Beep boop pop. It's good to this know one. we good to know you've got it though. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure you're not a wild magic clear a uh, wild magic sorcerer? This is feeling <laughs> awful. Like, I don't know. Chaos magic here. <laughs> okay. You got 12. bless. You got bless as well, haven't you? Yep. And the second attack is still at advantage. He is still restrained for the moment. Okay. And you, you, I don't believe she blessed herself. So Ooh. she blessed everyone ah, else. Okay. Well, the and the twenty-three is... on the second beam will hit. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> It will. He will cry out in pain as uh, flames ripple across his body. Got another missile. Unfortunately, missed it will also burn away the webs entangling him. And do I get to cast one yep. more? Yep, one, one more. more. But this one is a straight roll. Okay. Ah, nine. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, I will have to reply nine in German as a nice. response to the uh, attack. <laughs> it will not connect. Okie dokie. Freed of the webs, it's able to <laughs> dodge you, out of the way. From all of your rolls, almost all, they were all nine damage except for one. I know. <laughs> but different, it's like the super average, I guess, because they've all been calculated differently. Yep. So, anyway. Anything else from Maris? Uh, you know, uh, Maris. Maris is gonna take some movement if she can, mm -hmm. and uh, move toward Saurive in the web. <laughs> okay, you're running towards a big giant spider. I trust that spider. <laughs> it's very comfortable in the web. Trust me. <laughs> okay okay good to know as a side note i i apparently know the location of any creatures that are in the web so if there's anything hidden in here 
I know about it. Um, uh, there's a um, there's a centipede that got stuck pinned to the uh, yeah the pole. So I'll be eating it. that later. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, Jeswaldo. Jeswaldo turns his head. Claire, we really could use some help. Um, you there. You seem like a good boy. <laughs> you love your father. You don't want to be doing this. Look what you've done to our poor friend. You've hurt her so badly. Maybe we could start over. We could have a chat. You are, strike me as a man who has seen things, has stories to tell. I would like very much to hear them. And he will okay. take the dodge action. Okay. The dodge action. Got it. And that's it for the. Uh, I, I, if you I, 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 an attempt to, uh, you know, to uh, persuade action in combat would spend your turn essentially doing that. But uh, if you're going to do the dodge action, it's going to probably choose either or as. Um, Dodging would be. Does that make sense? Ah, uh, it does. It does make sense. Um, all right. I will use the action to try to persuade him to. <clears throat> okay, stop. Go ahead and make that roll. Okay. A twenty-two plus four. Oh no! Wait, it was already. It was already calculated, right? Uh, it wasn't for some reason. Plus, does the does plus bless plus work 11. on skill text? Plus eleven. Is that your normal persuasion? It is. Really? Wow. I it well, it says that. I don't know. Maybe it's already calculating in the D four. That's strange. I was about to say, because my deception's a plus nine. I've got nothing that side. And I've got I... expertise. I have expertise in... Oh, I have expertise in acrobatics and persuasion. Oh. Ah, there you go. Why don't... Wait a minute. No, wait. No. How do you outpersuade the bard? Wait a minute here. I think I have everything correct on my sheet. I don't... On my sheet, it does say plus 11 and plus 13 for acrobatics. So I am maxed out on... Where where are these numbers coming from? I've got no idea. I've never seen anyone have that at oh. third level. <laughs> plus yeah. two, plus five, right? So seven. So seven, and I have expertise in acrobatics. So plus and two more. So it would be nine. Would be be nine, right? And Unless is that adding bless on that? Or... Oh. <laughs> oh, is that? I know what I did. You um, cheated is what <laughs> please please disregard everything that has happened in this um <laughs> I think I I, I uh, briefly um I briefly lost D, D Beyond and when I came back in I accidentally activated a uh copy of Jeswaldo which I had used to go up to level ten to see what all was available for a uh, swashbuckler. So now I will return <laughs> to your regularly scheduled swashbuckler so who has what is your usual a class? much more normal... Uh, yes. All right. Got it. I said this last episode, you cheat! That was that was technically a cheat, but it was completely um, unintentional. I your apologize. Your sneak attack damage was correct, though. So Yeah, I think it was after... Um, it was yeah. right after my last turn is when I came back. So now, right. let me make this persuasion roll again. Oh, just, use your, what, what, just use your normal plus. Oh, there. Oh, so... Minus two, 19. Yeah. So it was... Yeah. So it's a plus four would be normal, what my normal persuasion would be. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. oh, okay. So I rolled, I'm so sorry. 15. I rolled a, so it's 15 and I get to add a, um, bless. A bless to that, right? Mm -hmm. It was not auto calculated. So 18. 18 total. Okay. He kind of cocks its head and looks towards you. Hard to tell how it's going to react, but it is certainly crazed and i will still take a step back up okay and another step and i will back out of the room and close the door okay 
And I would scream, Care! We really need that silver sword! <laughs> Noted. Uh. Elimus, it's your turn again. She should have killed it. A five, ten, and then look, and then point his fingers out in a fan and speak a status manus, and it will just be like a burst of flames go out towards him. Uh, deck save Burning of 13. Hands. Okay. 13 is your deck save? I thought it'd be higher than that. No, he, uh, sorry, decks of 14, sorry. Yeah. Um, he's got a 25. A he's fast. fast. So he takes five, half, five damage. Five damage, okay. And then I'll uh, you see him the dodge, of sort of cover his face, but you see the skin around his arms begin to burn away as he cries out. And then, so I've moved 10. I can do the rest of my movement, can't I? Yeah, 10. Uh huh. 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. They don't want to talk, they want to burn! <laughs> Is he susceptible to fire, or...? He is not. Yeah. It seems to do the amount of damage you would expect. Quadruple. <laughs> That's what I expect. What you no expect, way! not what you wish, Elimus. What is that? So, just out of curiosity, did my uh, persuasion check succeed and we just ruined it with another attack? I don't know. Uh, you Well, if you don't know... <laughs> I'm going to we'll assume find that out. it. I'm going to assume that it didn't work. We can talk about it at a later time, but now it's Essie's turn. Now it's Essie's turn. Let's see. Just oh, you can't walk through an enemy space, though. No, you cannot. What what kind of railing is right here? Um, it is like a. It's it's drawn strangely, but it is a solid wooden wall that frames the stairway. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. Um. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have... Okay, uh... I'm gonna... Go up to him. And, uh, I'm gonna stab him in the back, because... Okay. <laughs> We're still angry about the fact that, uh, he bit me. <laughs> so, uh, yes, uh, with our rapier, we are going to move that there. Uh, and then I have a d4, which makes it 15. <laughs> the d4 is, makes it enough to hit. So you run your rapier through his gut. It comes out, and again, he looks down, and you withdraw it, and he seems to grab the blade, and you withdraw it, and it slices even away a bit through his fingers, but as his hand opens again, it's like he's not bleeding. You've, you've sliced the flesh, but it begins to close back up almost immediately, not dealing the type of damage you would expect. Right. Anything else? Uh, I'm going to just, I guess, just wanting to hurt this guy because I can't, I don't really have any other spells for this. Um, offhand attack. Okay. The dagger. Mm -hmm. And, uh, that's going to be fucking no. no it's, not going to hit at all, even if I have the uh, stuff for it. So yeah, you're gonna mind. need to pump that up a bit more and able to get there. Unfortunately, yeah. 
She's Anything just, else? She's just wild, like, while she's, like, clinging to, like, where he bit her, she's just, like, wildly, like, swinging. Got it. <laughs> trying like, to cover bastard. the blood. Um, so, uh, the blood dripping from his mouth, he looks towards you, and then looks towards the escape, and then looks back towards you. <sighs> <sighs> and turns around climbing up the side of the wall um darts up and throws open the hatch oh no i am holding it <laughs> and don't you get an opportunity to I attack am. you do yeah okay uh go ahead and make an, a, a strength check is this uh athletics or just strength it's a uh, opposed strength checks do i get an opportunity to attack you do yes Wait one moment. I'm going to activate the 1d4. Okay. That's Should already work. done it. Oh, it already happened. Mm. Um, alas, I rolled a nine. Okay. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> and it cries out. What happened? It's a, a critical crit. hit from Essie. As you, uh, this time, he doesn't get away from you as you uh, reach out with your rapier and you can catch him in the back. <gasps> he cries out and stumbles forward and then starts running on all fours up the stairs and then just looks up towards the, um, towards the trap door and almost like a frog with his knees spread and hands on the ground, he just pushes and leaps. <laughs> impacting upon the bottom. He has a 19 on his strength check. I think that beats and, my 9. And just Waldo, you are thrown backwards as it uh as the trap door uh, goes wide open. Ah! <laughs> and you see it crawling towards you. Liar. Liar. Just oh, like no, father. No. Liar. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not lying. Um, I was being completely honest. Uh, the ones down there, they are the bad ones. They are not your friends. I am your friend, however. I can take you to where your father is. You lied like father, but you will feed me. And he wraps his arms around you, or attempts to. Um, no, no, 20... no, no. Don't like it. 24 to grapple you. Um, against my... What? Just an attack? 24 is the attack, yeah. Oh, well, that beats my 19 armor class. Okay. Cowards don't taste 19 very nice. 19 armor class is pretty good. Um, his uh, roll to bite you comes in at exactly a 19, unfortunately. Um, <sighs> whose and idea was it to attack this thing? His teeth will sink into you for nine piercing damage. I need those points. <laughs> and seven points of necrotic damage on top of that. And your hit points Aye. will be reduced uh, accordingly. You will also see his wounds begin to heal a bit from that. All right. So one more override. Max HP went down by what? By seven. Seven. So twenty-one. My God. Okay. And how much points did it do total? So nine points of piercing and seven uh, necrotic. So sixteen total. And you are grappled. Did the max change before or after? Uh, the max doesn't... It doesn't... So it does seven points of necrotic, and then that reduces your Got amount. It. So it doesn't do it on top of that, if that makes sense. Scott so. says, is that le is that your level 10 armor class? No, this is this is actual. <laughs> this is actually Deswaldo's armor class. That's nice. It is nice. Very nice. He's wearing um armor. He's got a plus five because of his dexterity, and he's wearing a um a shield. Mm, very nice. Yeah. Um, sorry if you're up. Do something, well, Kyle. So hide in that <laughs> web. Uh, how tall are the ceilings here? Uh, it is uh fifteen feet. Okay, so I can't... Well, would I be able to casually reach up with my big spider limbs and get a hold of the ceiling? Yeah, I mean, you're in a web. Okay. I would like to do that and then just scuttle 30 feet. Okay. Uh, 
25, 30. I assume I can't go through the posts, so I'm kind of going around those. Um, and I can't see him, I guess, right? Uh, no, he is up on the top floor. Uh, hear him sort of a wrestling around on the ground with just Waldo. Help! <laughs> <laughs> um, there, actually. You said one of those prostitutes that we okay. have met earlier. <laughs> Yikes. Ow. <laughs> Can I am I able to squeeze through the opening? Uh the so trap door? Ye, yes. You could do so. Uh, it'd be like essentially difficult terrain. Okay. I'd like to do that if I can, or okay. Kick, uh, you know. could use your action to dash, and you could probably get yourself up into this area. Okay, I'm, I'm the wall. like up on the wall on, on that area. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, I made it up. Got it. Good um, turn. Cool, Maris, you're up. Okay, so um, I would like to go to. The stairs as well. Is there? I have thirty feet. Is there a way that I can make that on this? Uh, grid? So you get five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty is where you're able to get right here. Okay, great. So I would like to use my movement to go assist if I can. Okay, uh, you. So the big spider that is squeezed through is now sort of up above your friends and is taking up most of this space. Okay. Um, you could, you can see the spider. It's difficult to see Jiswaldo and uh, Doru at the moment. Okay. Then I guess I will just chill here. <laughs> okay. Jiswaldo, okay. you are grappled. You have just had teeth sink into your neck and draw forth your life force. Knife it. I would like to use acrobatics to escape. Okay. So a total of 13. Total of 13. Uh, did you add the d4? Mm -hmm. you did yes, it was d4. already d4. Okay. Uh, strength check comes in at a... Tw oh, you beat it by one. Hooray! Ha! <laughs> ah! Put you my hand from the grapple. Yeah. There! And I will use a bonus action to disengage okay. and run here to grab the uh, silver sword sword from our still praying uh, paladin. Okay, you but you in the, go into this room. You notice that the um, doors here are ajar. The door here was also ajar. Blood is spilling out all across the floor. And three figures are uh, sit dead, mounds of fur and red liquid pouring out of them. Three wolves. Claire sits holding her arm, bandaged, looking very wounded. And uh, take it, she says, and tosses the silver short sword your way. I'm fine. Go. It's fine. I'm very gallant of you. And I turn around. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So that was a bonus action disengage. One, two, three, four. I get the sword. Five. And then I move to the store and I close it. Okay. Are you holding it closed again? Yes. Oh, you're on the outside closing yes. it. Yes. Okay. Holding it closed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Hodor. Elimus. Yeah, Hodor. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, where am I? How oh, good are miles away? Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Just not really anything I can do. I mean, 
are going to move over here. It's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can I see the creature through the gaps, maybe? Um, Clutching at straws? It's very tough. Make a uh, dis uh, perception check at disadvantage. Perception, where are you? Oh, yeah, there you are. 10. Uh, unfortunately, no, especially through the tangled uh, oh, mass of legs that one is second. your friend. 12. <laughs> Still doesn't quite get you there. <laughs> exactly what I needed. Okay. Um, uh, obviously, I can't push past and get up anyway, so... Um, yeah, I can't really do anything else. Okay. SE. Actually, can I use my inspiration? You could gift your inspiration to someone. I mean, you can use your inspiration to... I mean, on a... Oh, on your perception check. Yeah. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Yeah? Could I have used it to give me advantage? <laughs> uh, no, 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 so I've got to re-roll, have inspiration, inspiration, yeah. Yeah, this sorry. Is I'm inspiration. So still, roll a D6. still new to D&D. No, no, no. I've got, fine. I've got actually got inspiration, inspiration. Oh, oh, yeah. So, uh, so that would be a twenty. Yes. In which case, yeah, yeah. Hint the barest bit of his foot, you can see. Oh, okay. This is my GC. Tell him and lets off the little uh, darts again. Oh, you have him flying around the corner. Yeah. Seeking magic. Yeah. Oh, Just target yeah. you can see, I guess. Huh. Very so nice. That is okay. Three. Uh hang on. Why won't it do it? Six. Come on, come on. Let's take it all my spell slots, so D and D Beyond doesn't oh, like this. Yeah. Uh hang on. So again You can six, slash roll forty four plus four too. So eight damage. Eight damage, <clears throat> or three D four plus. Yeah. yeah. All right. They impact into him. He seems to be hanging out at his mid health range. The healing that he's doing every turn, plus the feeding on the blood, seems to be just restoring this unnatural body. Anything else? Um. No, that's all he can do. Essie, you're up. Right. I want to make it upstairs. <laughs> Okay, 5, nice. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You can get to the base of the stairs with your regular movement unless you have more than that. Right, it's because everybody's in the freaking way! I know, aren't hallways great? <sighs> uh, hmm. Let's see. Nope. Your friends are dying. What are you doing? Well, they won't get out of the freaking way. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do anything. Okay. Um. You get underneath the spider. Spider. No, bum. I'm. I'm literally stuck at the base of the stairs. You um, can get to here, though. You can get to the top of the stairs yeah. with your movement. Yeah, but, I mean, I guess I can do. I'll go here and then spin my action or dash. I guess you can squeeze and up into one of these three spots here. Squeeze up into one of these spots, and I guess I'll block the door. Um, okay. I have a question though. This place is dilapidated and broken down mm -hmm. are there any peaks of sunlight yeah there's some light shining in he seems to have walked through one of them though it is not bright sunlight per se you have not seen the sun since you've been in barovia it's very very overcast okay uh so it's diffuse sort of misty um misty gray light coming through yeah. 
I guess I'm going to. I'm just. I'm. I guess I'm just gonna body block him. Okay. From the doorway. You do notice, however, there are some holes in the ceiling, as it was mentioned before. So, as this roof is partially collapsed, okay. he begins to seeming regain his uh, his life force again, or unlife force he begins to grow a bit stronger and stronger. Wounds closing. Move, let me out, he says to you. And seeing, assuming you're holding your ground. Oh, yeah. He is going to use the action, his action to try and shove past you. I'm going to cutting words it. Okay. Uh, well, the roll, his strength check is a 23. Go ahead and roll that d4. Uh... It's actually a d6. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Apologies. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a five. Okay. Um, oh, that's good. Uh, so does a 18 hit your armor class? Sadly, it does. Okay. He pushes you back in a way and then crawls up and around the top of the door frame over the top of you to this position and then starts banging on the door. You'll use a second attack of his multi-attack to try and push through this doorway. Oh, does, does our lizard boy get attack of opportunity? Does, certainly does. Come on, lizard boy. Oh, forgot about that. Uh, spider, spider. Bite. Oh. Ouch, spider. Ouch. Eight to hit. Oh, boy. Even, spider is even just... With bless you, be bad. just he was still yeah. in his web. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. So unfortunately, that does not hit. And then Sean, to try and hold the door shut, please make a strength check. Mm -hmm. Your number to beat this time is nine. Oh, I can do it! I swear. Oh no, 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 no. no. Uh, let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Has anyone got inspiration? Oh, he rolled a four. Even if I rolled a four with my bless, it would not be enough. Does anybody give me inspiration? Has no one else got any? I've used If I mine. can. You, I have it. You've still got it? Yeah. Well, then you can. Go for it. All right. I'll, mark that I'll re roll it. So, so, actually, I'll just take that 12 that I rolled then. Okay. So I hold the door closed. Beats against the door. Sorry, we're closed. <laughs> And he turns, and his hungry eyes look directly again at Essie. And uh, it will be Saurif's turn. But I have to go away from keyboard for a moment. And we have a paladin who is recovering from her wounds who might just be able to rejoin oh. and help you guys Yay. in the second half of this battle. Yes. So Saurif, you'll be up. We're going to take right. a quick break. And see how this all finishes in the church in just a minute. So cool. we'll be right back, guys. Good. All right, guys, back after the break. Don't go anywhere. See you in a bit. Welcome back, everyone. The group is now trapped inside a church, except for Jeswaldo, who is holding shut the church doors. The Hold vampire on. spawn has escaped from the basement, having taken some big bites out of two of the party members and here we are um the priest is still unconscious and claire the paladin intending to him upstairs and during this time they were in the undercroft seems to have fought off three large fierce looking wolves who emerged into the church with the sole intent it seems to attack this priest so here you all sit 
the uh, Doru, the young boy, turned into something far scarier, is clawing at the door, trying to escape. The blood of Essie is still running from his mouth and dripping onto the floor. But he is unable to escape and, as and just just Waldo one... holds the door. Just Waldo's blood is also in there. Mingled. Indeed. Mm, delicious. That comes to Saurif. It is your turn. Alrighty. Well, I will just move, scramble through along the walls and try and get out into you here. Squeeze through diff- as difficult terrain, but you should have the movement to do it. And then I'm going to I roll to see if my web comes back. That's a five. Uh, so I think it recharges, and I would like to point blank um, shoot web out my butt at him. It is. A, <laughs> it's a ranged attack, though. Um, yes. So you will be a disadvantage. I'll do it anyway. Seventeen it will be more than enough at disadvantage. You butt web him. Yes. Uh, so he is stuck there and has to use his action to get out. Yep, he is Gotta love that booty web. <laughs> Don't go to that website, folks. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, the, the spawn is now restrained and stuck to the door in a clump of webs. <laughs> Anything else? From Big Spider. Uh, nope, that's it for Big Spider. Cool. Maris, you are up. All right, uh, I would like to move into the room that Big Spider just vacated. Um, okay. Beep, boop, pop. Okay, Let me, I'll get there, I'll get there. Okay, so, there so um, how much after I get up the stairs into like this immediately? You've used um, half of your movement now. Awesome, so. okay, so. I can't, so is he up on the wall? Remind me, is the spider like up on the ceiling or what's his? He name? is. Um, you can, you can. I think didn't that what you said? Sorry. I, I I sort of picture that I'm on here, kind of on this wall here. Okay. 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 So but I there's could, five feet below him. Okay, so I could exit and be below him, correct? Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I know. I was like ah. Um. Okay. So what I would like to do now is cast um, Guiding Bolt. Okay. Uh, it's a, it will be a straight roll. He is restrained. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so the... Oh, why does it keep rolling twice? Okay, but the first one, which is the one that we're going to do, is nine. Which I imagine Unf- doesn't hit. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's a, um, a little bit of the a, a spider leg kind of... Gets, goes against the wall, startles you, uh, go, gets into your vision a bit. Uh, a huge, hairy, spindly insect leg. Um, takes getting used to, and not quite yet. Uh, so, yeah, you. Uh, it just shoots wide and impacts and radiant blast of energy against the wall. Okay. Yeah, so I guess that is my turn. Okay, Jezwaldo. Just one who is holding hear, the door, uh, he felt the, felt the, and then he heard a, <laughs> and then you hear a <sighs> growling sound coming from behind you as you're holding the door. Um, I think I will. Oh, uh, look behind me. <laughs> Does pooping one's pants take an action? <laughs> <laughs> You see what looks to be a canine figure, though it is covered in rough, shaggy black hair, and it is very large, nearly the size of a horse. Um, I will open the door. Um, and what do I see? Um, you see, uh, <laughs> so uh, 
opening with you on the door is the vampire spawn, which is just kind of like stuck to the door with web. It kind of like opens along with you. He just goes, and he's just sitting right there. Uh, in I front will of you. attack him with the sword sword. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I actually have that. I do. So this is a normal short sword. You'd have advantage now. Oh, with yeah, advantage. He's restrained. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's exciting. Very nice. Roll with advantage. Okay. Nice. I hit with a 24, doing 14 points of damage. Okay. Silver. Nice. Out of curiosity, does this seem to have damaged him better than my rapier? It does not. Mm. Unfortunate. I put the rip the uh, the short sword into my shield, and I bonus action. But do I have to disengage? He's restrained, right? Uh, he could still make a attack of opportunity if you. Uh, but you you have a swashbuckler. Oh, know, that's right? right. I have a swashbuckling thing, so I will not do that. And I will. Am I am? I'm nice and far away from the wolf. Good. Okay. I will one, two, three, four, five. Six, one, two, three, four, and I will jump in the window. <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and make an acrobatics check. It is glass. Ah. Well, I am not. <laughs> I'm sorry, my D&D uh, um, Beyond keeps crashing, so one moment fine. while I... I will You're be sure to, to bring up too, the so correct. It's just playing along with you. Yeah. All right, here we go. Now we will see some thrilling heroics. <laughs> Show it to us, just Waldo. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't know why. Oh. So it is a 23. 23. Uh, we're getting towards the. I, I don't. I haven't, I haven't been counting rounds, but uh, just Maris, when you cast Bless, it is only one minute, which is 10 rounds. So okay. just be aware of that. We're getting. It's never happens, but but we're getting close. To, you know, we might actually have to start might, counting the rounds for Bless. With, sure, uh, sure. Even even without the Bless, it was a 20. So. Yeah. No, I, that's. Uh, I, I was just commenting. Uh, 20 is more than enough anyway. Um, you put your shoulder perfectly into the um, into the wood that makes a cross section to the panes, and they break outward, and uh, and at the force of your shoulder, and you are able to crash through and land on your feet without even slipping a little on the glass. Ah! Big wolf, very big, <laughs> and I'm done. Okay, <laughs> you can no longer see Claire. Hello. Okay. Um, so I... Bodies of three wolves lie in front of you and you have just patched up your bleeding wounds. Dope. Okay. I'm going to... Oh, wait. Where's the door? It's over there. So one, two, three, four, five. Great. I can get here. And I'm going to... I... <laughs> trying to shrug off the pain of that last fight, ready to go on this guy. Uh, I'm going to uh, cast Booming Blade and make a melee attack as part of that spell. Um, I have no idea how this works on this. Okay, so I do still need to roll the attack over here. First time I'm doing this on D&D &D Beyond. Just That's fine. Uh, <laughs> long sword. Uh, and he, that was, okay, it doesn't really matter. That was still dope. Um, with advantage, you said? Because yes, he is still restrained. You're correct. Yep. Okay. Um, so I guess that's, we'll take that second one then. Um, what did you roll? So, uh, 24. That's absolutely a hit. More than enough. <laughs> okay. So the initial damage of the blade itself is 11 plus two with thunder. And then um, I will activate um, on the success of that melee attack, burning a first level uh, 
spell um, to divine smite him. Ooh, is nice. your um, is your long sword a magical weapon? Um, it is my hex weapon. I'm not sure if it is actually. I believe your hex weapon counts as magical. counts as magical. Yeah. Oh. It does. it does count um, as magical. The, the thunder damage happens if he moves. Yeah, the thunder damage. The oh, extra. Well, there's catch. there is um in oh right. When oh, you get, yes. when you get that's higher only, levels, that's only yeah. casting it at later levels. I always get myself confused about that. Uh -huh. That's um, why we all love padlocks. <laughs> um. So, uh, yeah. Here comes uh two d eight extra radiant damage plus an additional one d eight for him being undead. I have no idea how this works here. Okay. So 2d8. Oh, that was horrible. What the fuck? <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> you, you've already rolled it. You've got 13 and then a six. Oh. 19. I just don't know how that works. So yeah, we'll take that first roll because that was so much better. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, that was only the 13 is the 2d8. So, yeah, the so total of 19. Yes, for divine smite. Yes, on top of the eleven. You see her sword damage. cleave through the chest of this undead boy, and it breaks open, and you see blood just sort of slosh out. It doesn't seem to be bleeding. It doesn't come from any sort of arteries. It's as if you just cut open a bag, and the blood just sort of seeps from the body, and he cries out. <gasps> looking down, trying to scrape this blood back into his own body oh. as it falls down um, and is just sort of rubbing <laughs> it all over himself and, and screaming. You can see his face become more sallow. It had plumped up a bit from his feeding, but it, he's beginning to look more skeleton-like. And more than that, it know. seems like some of the healing that has happened before, you see old wounds beginning to open up again. This okay. radiant damage that you've inflicted seems to be enormously effective against him. Elimus. Okay, he moves 5, 10, uh, 15 to get up. Mm -hmm. Just half. Um, 20, 25. Can I see him through the door? You can. Um... Hmm. through a sea of allies but you can see him nonetheless yeah i hmm. i'm just gonna cast magic missile again and that is oh max damage wow oh, hang on that should be plus one on that oh yeah so Wow. Okay. 10, 14 damage. Okay. With that, these three bolts of magical energy. Though, despite your signature blue sort of hue turn black as they emanate from you. And you can swear you see little bat wings flapping from each of them as they kind of screech out from you. They don't shoot out like Knight's Crystal Shards. They kind of <laughs> flutter out from you. Nonetheless, each one impacts, tearing the body apart. You have the final blow with your magic missile. How would you like to finish the vampire spawn? Oh, as he's trying to rub his blood back into his body... Um, one will hit him square in the chest as he looks down, and the other two will hit him both between the, uh, bas uh, basically in these eye sockets. Yes. <clears throat> burn and out, burn out his phone. He will look down to the empty hole in his chest, and as he looks up, eyes wide, the wide <laughs> eyes become perfect targets, and <laughs> the head is basically um, annihilated against the church wall, and it, <laughs> and then slumps down against the web. And then just hangs there, partially suspended. A head removed just above the nose, completely oh. gone. And a church door painted red with the blood of <laughs> various creatures come from the one body. Did, did someone say wolf? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. I cried wolf. 
Uh, I moved, but I, I, I is combat over, Peter. I'll go back. Uh, it is. Oh, okay. moment. We can't leave initiative order for the moment. Sorry. Just while the stumbles are on the corner, he's got his hand over his his uh, neck. It's, there was a large wolf just outside the door. Can <laughs> I run outside and see if he, the wolf is still visible? Sure. Yes. No, don't, just no, Walter- don't do that. I'm do it anyway. Let's <laughs> be real. Just Waldo, can I heal you? Can I help you? Uh, yes and yes. Uh, uh, is he still outside? Uh, go ahead and move your token out to where you're running, just so I can get an yeah, idea. I uh, just, just stepping, just stepping to the bottom of the stairs. Ah, thank you. That will take me up to my new maximum. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make a perception check. Uh, you see, there is a bit more mist than you've seen. 14. In the past. Uh, 14. Yep. You look around. The, there's a fog that seems to have rolled in mid morning. Okay. You don't see anything. And you hear then a cracking sound and a drip coming from behind you. Okay. I turn and look. You think it's coming from the corpse, but. All of the blood seems to have drained, and then you do see a bit of blood just dropping on the steps of the church. And then a body falls and impacts. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Right oh, here. my. What? And what above, is... you see. Oh. On the top of the church, looking over the bloody jaws of what appeared to be a wolf, leaning over the top, the roof of the church, (sighs) glowing red eyes, and it slowly backs away. And you hear a (laughs) creaking of the wood above the church, and then, just as it's reached about the middle of the sanctuary above you. You hear nothing. Oh, I was not expecting that shit. <laughs> um, okay. Um, is I, the body on the floor clearly dead? Yes, no? Yes. Okay. Um, is there indica- any indication of who this is? Uh, go ahead and make an investigation check. If you want to read about yeah. Did I hope I, it's I the hear... bartender. Uh, yeah, eight. I have no idea. Uh, eight, I might. Um, I'm gonna yell out. By the way, as I as I look to the body, um, it's on the roof, loudly into the church. I would like to climb out the hole in this room and go up on the roof. Okay, be able to climb up all the way easily enough after a second. Make a perception check. Perception. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Nine. The roof seems to be completely clear. All right. You see I, only the steeple rising. And I scuttle around on the roof for a little while, make sure it's clear, and then I'll just come back in. Seems to be. Uh, Claire, while you're looking, you don't find anything identifying, but you see a uh, human woman walk casually out of the mist or a bit from sort of the village area and walks up and says, Gustav, Gustav, where'd you go? Oh, is this where he went? Uh, Who are you? I'm Claire, who are you? Penelope. Um, and he, she kind of looks towards the corpse at your feet. Uh, I'm, is this him? She walks forward and looks down. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> and looks up to you. 
That was my husband, Gustav. I am so Looks like smart. the wolf got him. Do we, swear, do we smell wet dog? It, she her. seems very nonchalant about yeah. it. Am I reading that correctly? She seems unbothered. Yeah, go ahead and make a... Um, Inside she seems about as bothered as we do, to be fair. Yeah, I feel. I feel like we're more bothered by this. Yeah. But like, yeah. like no, no, none of us know anything that's going on. Like, I might know if the door is open, but I, I don't know. A door is open. Is it? Yeah. So I've just witnessed this entire thing. <laughs> Claire, yeah. Claire went out the door. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I rolled an eight on my inside check, so I don't really think I know. Maybe her. she's in shock. Who knows? It's, yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, I I am also a little bit in shock. <laughs> the body that just landed at me. <laughs> um, I uh, I I'm gonna reach out and gent uh, gently sort of touch her shoulder and be like, "Are you okay?" She kind of recoils from you and looks just distrusting. He was out getting water. Did Where you did he leave the bucket? And she kind of just looks oh. around. Oh, did did you see a wolf? I heard it. I heard the howl. Is that a normal occurrence around here? Yes. Oh, casual. <laughs> Where do you put the bucket? And you sent your husband out for water knowing the wolf was out there. They howl from the woods sometimes. Usually don't come into the village. Um, well, what, perhaps where do you he would like to take his body? Somebody find this fucking woman's bucket. <laughs> look at her clothes. They look torn. Um, They're a bit ratty, but they seem to be a commoner's clothes, if a bit um, impoverished, not particularly distressed. Just like oh. her. <laughs> Ah. Uh, you said your name was Penelope? Yes. Well, I'm very sorry for your loss. Um, would you like us to bring his body inside, or would you like to take the body with you? Just kind of looks at you for a second. I just... I need to get water. I need to find my bucket. So there is a very large wolf around. Maybe you shouldn't be out alone. <laughs> no, no, no. Just hold it. Let her go. Maybe the buck is in the woods. Why? Why? <laughs> yes, the buck wow. is in the woods. The buck is in the woods. Um, while this bucket conversation is going on, I um, sigh heavily, and I'm going to go back inside and check on the priest. <laughs> okay, make a deception check, Elimus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's clearly being sarcastic, but yeah. <laughs> Deception. Well, if you are Six. if you are trying to get that, she doesn't quite uh, get it. Oh my god. He doesn't go into the woods. He never did. Have you checked near the well? Where's the well? It's probably near the well. It, yeah. You're right. Hmm. Keep an eye out for wolves. Or don't. Or don't. Please don't. <laughs> ah. There are no okay. rules and Do you have people that are very dark? Do you have <laughs> Do you have children at home? I'm just gonna go get my water. Should we take care? She seems to be it's a guarded response <laughs> if just a little. Penelope? Are you yeah. just going to leave the body? Should we just leave it? We can leave it. She just kind of shrugs. Okay. I wonder I where this he is left a really the good bucket. marriage guy. <laughs> Maybe Real. this is for the best. I, I do not like the way a giant spider is eyeing the body. <laughs> what was that the, um, the, the spider is above the door inside and has started making webs on the ceiling. Got it. <laughs> if you're and, up there, um, when I occasionally it, saliva down. drips down. Reach a reach an arm down for yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> please don't draw on me. I've already I'm, I'm covered in my own blood. I don't know. Please God. No God. 
Uh, this has been a very trying day, but um, it Shit. strikes me that uh, there have been very few people of mm, decent conscious since we've arrived. Um, this priest is one of them. We should try to help him if we can. Um, so I've gone to check on him. How's he doing? Out cold. Um, just I, snoring profusely. I would like to gently attempt to revive him. No, 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 no. We, we gave him a pastry. <laughs> oh, you put him out. Yeah, we knocked him out. <laughs> they, they fed him the magic pastry from the and, old and woman. Besides, that, this would be the last thing he would want to see. Um, we should, uh, I don't know, burn the body? Um, maybe enough. we could convince him that he's had the terrible fever dream. His son died uh, weeks ago, and uh, these are his ashes. To be fair, uh, can I just, because we still we have the actual physical body, right? You could burn it. What's oh, left of it? It's uh, so bad. Can I just go up here to the pews that are broken, grab some wood, and just go over and just stake him in the heart? Sure. Yeah, really, yep. really careful. <laughs> I see he's, he's dead already, but... Look, you know as well as I do, with vampires... Sometimes they come back. It's just, I don't know if it's going to work, but it's a dead body anyway, so fuck off. <laughs> I, mean, I agree with being careful, but I thought that stake to the heart thing was a myth. A, you know yeah. what? You know what? I don't care if it is. I'm doing it. Do <laughs> you, you see this? I'm covered in my own goddamn blood. You stab him with each, each time you brought your hand down, just then <laughs> you stab him another time. I don't care. <laughs> and you see uh, a bit of gore beginning to splash onto her as she's doing so. You also notice it's hard to find the place because Elimus has sort of blasted a hole into the chest. And so you're like, man, he like blew out some of the heart there. So you're trying to like just get the edge of the piece of thorax that's intact. And you do you are able to get one in there. Um, There's a piece over there if you want to, oh, and over there. I'm fine. Right, so he's I'm fine. very I'm fine. dead. Now but, we can um, burn it. The point still stands. I, if it were my son and I were to wake up and see him like this, I would, I think I would lose what bit of sanity I already had. Just what is right, we should burn the body. There's plenty I of wood don't... inside. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I also don't feel comfortable leaving this man here by himself. The the the, the other dead body? No, the priest. The priest? Oh. Hello with him. Uh, the priest. <laughs> Hello with him, the priest. <laughs> no, no, you're not oh, I didn't even oh, care. Oh my god. <laughs> we should burn this body as well. If the wolf gets yeah, him. We, we can we can do rights for both of them. Can we search him first though? <laughs> oh I, I look at you with a stake in your hand. Um Effie, I just as as you you come back and you've done all that work with this um like makeshift steak, I'm just gonna um open my backpack and be like, I have actual steaks. You could have told me that before. I didn't know what you were gonna do. So just, just next time, next time she's, she's just gonna like let the piece of in the heart. <laughs> she's just gonna let the, the piece of wood just roll off her hand and just be like, <laughs> and then just go and like s s search the body. Why? Why do you have steaks? Claire. Oh, um, I mean, I, I monster hunt in my free time. That's the casual way. <laughs> I was like, a Girl Scout is always prepared. <laughs> it was um, in my background gear. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, Maris helps me with this sometimes. I kind of make it a point to track down monstrous entities that I hear about during her travels. I, see, once again, I, I am suspecting that this is a dream because it's very convenient for you to be here in my dream as a monster hunter when we are, in fact, fighting monsters. It's good. Very good. Glad you're here, dream paladin. Okay. Spider-like gently rubs your shoulder, Chiswaldo. I slap the leg when I see it come down. <laughs> I'm like, instead of, I said, 
Make yourself useful while you're that form and grab these bodies and bring them into the middle of the church. Don't eat any of them. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just um, yesterday, this leg would have really bothered me, but um, not so much today. I, I just still don't know whether to blood burn them sucked or not. Out. I agree, yeah. I still am debating whether to burn it or not. As he started like taking the bodies. Uh, stop nibbling I, the bodies. I, <laughs> yeah, the um, <laughs> the one that's outside... Uh, he tries to bring up to the ceiling. Ah, 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 ah. Nope. Stops. No. <laughs> Was I not able to search that one before he... <laughs> I, I see, Slowly lets it back down. It's like halfway in his mouth. What? <laughs> I just had to Google if um, spiders have tongues, and they do not. Fun fact. Your, your spider does, though. So. So well, this, look, this he was going to bring it up and liquefy it. Like Li a spider does. Li liquefy. liquefy it. Yeah. Hey, this guy. This guy over here. No, no, no. No, One of like. these guys. <laughs> <laughs> these cameras are all messed up. Yeah, I don't know yeah, why right? I'm pointing to them. <laughs> that one over there. Um, yeah, I'll take he, it as he searches. He, he sets it back down and then he sort of just slinks back up to the spider web and Looks annoyed, not looking at anyone. <laughs> it does understand common, doesn't it? Take the bodies into the middle of the church, Lizard. <laughs> we'll, set a, um, we'll set a fire there. There's plenty of wood. Maybe not inside the church. I suppose, no? Eli, that's not probably well, isn't it idea. stone? The church, isn't it? No, it's wood. Maybe oh, it we just wood. set the whole thing on fire. The, the, floor is, the floor you're walking on is old wood. Oh, hey, let's, let's not do that then. Stone walls. <laughs> Let's definitely do that outside. It's not quite cathedral status. It is a wood floor. So. Oh, fair, fair. Can we can we look for a place outside? Maybe that um, looks like it's not gonna um, like catch fire. Like there's not gonna be like extra brush. Like the, I have an idea. Um, didn't the uh, gentleman and his lovely sister say that there was holy land here? I mean, yeah, it's hallowed ground here. Well, we could. Find some of that. Well, it's. Is there a graveyard? Is actually, this is a good question. So, uh, last session I did divine sense for hallowed ground here. Um, for recalling that, um, that, uh, work that I did to figure that out. Was that just the building itself or was that grounds around it? It was. In fact, not necessarily even the church itself, but the cemetery behind it seems to be. Ah, okay. I will direct people's attention to that. Okay, okay. there are no just... wolves in there. So, do you know anything about vampires? I know little. Even if this one wasn't a full vampire, will it come back? I mean, if we bury it there, was that good? Is this, this, does the soul go where it needs to go? I don't know. What would be the appropriate check to know or not know that? Religion. Religion. Yeah. Yeah. religion. religion. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's be a little religious here, shall we? Yes, I will 20. also. 20. Oh, 20. well then. No reason. Oh, check our two holy people. Yeah, so um, you are able to recall from your studies, and especially your the uh, special studies you went through to go out seeking and hunting unholy beasts that vampires in particular um it takes for a fledgling vampire to become a full vampire takes quite some time and you can there are m lesser vampires that can be created but um their powers are not the same as a full-fledged vampire those typically retreat sort of disincorporate and head to their resting place for some time uh, to regenerate the body itself in this the way it's been destroyed had it been a full vampire something else would have happened it's unclear what exactly you can't quite remember but um the fact that this thing is just lying in hunks of flesh right here okay. you are fairly sure that it has been killed like any other monster all right uh, we should be fine let's, um let's bury it then for the priest yeah maybe it will ease some of his sanity Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, let's definitely 
do that. Um, I could yet again um, do a proper funeral. <laughs> Seems to be my lot in life. I think the priest would like that. Yeah. Especially Should as we we're looking to make that? a boon. Well, we're we're trying to convince the priest to bury the the father, aren't we? So, so maybe, maybe doing this would help with that. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure he'll want to see his son's body in this fashion <laughs> a microwave. Um, no, um, so maybe we should bury it first, or does it, do we have a way to like make it look a little better? Does anyone run a morgue? <laughs> uh, um, I think we could um, burn it and then show the ashes. That would probably be enough. Well, but burial does seem to be the the order of um, religious ceremony here. It's not clear to me that they do um, like ceremonial burnings as a funeral well, ceremony. I would not know. I will leave that to you. Whatever you think is best, Claire. No, it, I think in I, terms of is the best. Yes, I would agree with Claire, given that there's a cemetery behind the church. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Let's dig a couple graves then. Let's get the spider to dig some graves. <laughs> okay. I'll help. He's good at he's good at digging, isn't he? We saw him do that stuff. That's with... right. Yeah. So, Grave uh, digging. I don't know. What, did you um, think I was joking or? <laughs> no, I just so... thought that <laughs> you were just like telling the and... spider to do stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He'll, he'll come down and then turn back into a lizard. If we must dig, I can do it. All right, let's let's get to work on that. Um, I'm going to check this other body that's there, just like for wounds or uh, while while the spy uh, while uh, the lizard's going off, I'll look to uh, to Claire and Marisa. Maybe we should check this body. I mean, do wolves turn each other? I mean, like empathy is that something that's going to happen to this man? I will say that was the largest, and I mean by an order of magnitude wolf that I have ever seen. Well, I didn't see it, so I'm not sure I believe you, but... <laughs> I understand. <laughs> <laughs> um, is this man going to come back as a wolf? I looked at our priest and our, uh, our cleric and our paladin. Um, I don't think so. Yeah. Can we Someone roll? want to make a religion check or <laughs> something will, about that? Yes. You're more than welcome to. Um, guys... Can I also, and this is a question for uh -huh. me, like, could I also make, hold on, never mind, forget it. Okay, I will do religion. It's forgotten. Ah, ah, oh, I was on the wrong, <laughs> so many tabs. Is that your, oh, that's a previous 21. I, I have a, a Oh no, that was yeah, that's a previous one. Yeah, she has Okay. One. Yeah, um you're not really sure? Lycanthropy like not uh not not totally clear on that. So have I read anything myself about lycanthropy? Like you can make the same role. I mean I'm not like. proficient in religion, but huh? I know nothing. It's a five on the dice. Uh, yeah. five in a row. What that was a natural yeah. one. Then. How do you how do you spell like camp? <laughs> <such a> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I remember reading something. It was definitely like camp. That was a spell. That's right. That was a spell. Was it in a book that was green? <laughs> did you read the same book? Um, uh, I did read a book. Maybe we should burn this one. Um. Okay. Or. I can bury them very deep. Uh, <laughs> can I please check the body before we do that? Though? Yes, you, you can absolutely check the body. Just, just Waldo, stab this one a few times with that silver sword. Oh, absolutely. And uh, stab one, stab two, and stab three. <laughs> um, just pin cushion. Well done, you no killed response, it. No response, no twitch. It is just like slicing dead meat. Uh, let, let's bury it. Come on. I'll just just well, 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 pick the body up. Let's go. I, I will examine the body. <laughs> Sorry. 
Zappy. He's Zappy. Okay. Uh, which one? The of the stranger? Gustav. Um, Gustav. Wizard ordering the, the lizard and just whirled her around. Go ahead and make an investigation check. Oh, 20. Okay, not bad. Uh, so Bless is gone, by the way. So. Oh, okay. I, it is good to know. Certainly been more than a minute. I think it's just a minute that Bless lasts, right? Yep. Yeah. So 17. Yeah. Um, you find what looks to be a steel wedding ring on his finger. Um, and uh, besides that, he carries a knife on his belt. It's not drawn. That's about it. Nothing particularly unusual. Calloused hands. Mm, El Gustav. So sorry. But better you than me. A fine eulogy. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, it was honest. (laughs) You can ask for. All right. So, burying with mold earth, I'm assuming. Yep. It's easy to do that. You're able to do so rather quickly. Deposit them in some un, uh, unused earth in this cemetery. Um, once we have them interred, I will, um, as with as I did with the children in the house, I will uh, cast ceremony um, and do a funeral rite. Okay. Are you um, marking off the mm-hmm. material costs each time you do that? Okay, just check it. So, um, great. Yeah. You... Um, while she does that, can we take a short rest? Because it takes an hour to cast. <clears throat> Absolutely. Essie, do you feel all right? No, I don't. I I have been very cold ever since that thing bit me, and I have not seem to get myself warm. Yeah. Very. Don't feel quite myself. I don't like it, and I want to be rid of this place. I'd like to go oh. rest or something. I want to be done with all of this, so we can bury the man and bury the other man and get the woman away from here. I hope that will do the trick. Um, the only thing that I would be able to do on a short rest would be replenish my hit points and I'm already at full. So I will take the time to practice my swordsmanship. Okay. Yeah, pretty much Essie's just with her hand on her neck just leaning against the wall because she needs healing bad. Um, Towards the end of the ceremony where I'm infusing them with my magic, um, I'm going to ask someone to revive the priest so that I can complete it in his presence. Ah. Uh. That would be a tall order, I think. Oh, we could try. Please. Hmm. Um, wake up! <laughs> Very nice. You're trying to resolve or revive the priest. Yes. Got it. I look at Essie. Um, he, he does awake. Uh, morning, Lord, my son. Wait, what? What happened here? Well, Where? quite a lot, actually. Where's the son? He he runs past you, and he goes the blood. What? And he sort of runs out into the open, outside of the church, and looks up to the sky. It's just clouds. No, the clouds. I'm back. I'm back. The sun is gone. The morning never came. I... Oh. And he kind of falls to his knees. Would somebody mm. like to help this man out? I'll go up to him again. 
That's a face he recognises. Um, we're putting your son to rest. I think you may want to come and listen to the final rites. Son. Your son. My son died a while ago. He went he, off to fight the devil. Did. Never did. came back. He never came back. He never came back. No, he never came back. But he's been put to You're rest burying now. a boy in the cemetery, yes? Yes. The son... Your son's body is back here. No, my son never came back. Ah. He's gone. Never coming back. Sons. But I will see the burial of this boy that you found. Yes? Thank you. It's already buried, but our, our paladin is reading his final rites. Good. That's good. It's a good thing. It's good. Yes. I'll, uh, off, is he an older man? Um, probably mid-fifties. Okay. Well, I'm obviously not as strong. Well, not that strong, but I'll offer my arm in support and take him there. Okay. He kind of, you kind of help him to his feet. After a bit, he sort of nods and then goes on his own stead, but um, seems to appreciate the gesture to help him up at least. Can I, Essie, can I help heal you? Uh, no, I've already done that. Okay. Uh, as much as I can be, it seems. Uh, I've stopped the bleeding. So, okay. thanks though. Really appreciate that. Claire, your spell goes off. You feel you have properly consecrated the burial. Okay. And it, when the priest joins, I ask him to, um, it, thinking back on the words that um, I picked up on when I last prayed with him, hmm. um, will ask him to join with me in a final prayer um, to um, invoking both the Morning Lord and um, Saloon. Cool. Go ahead and make a religion check for that with advantage. Thirteen. Okay. Um, you you will feel it has had some comforting effect on him. Mm -hmm. He says, "The night um, mother, or the one that you worship, is she abandoned us? Like they say, is did she really send this devil here as punishment?" Um, sorry, just, I, I missed the first couple of words of that. Did he say the, the night mother? The night, okay. Interesting. Um, is that a, um, a term I've heard before? Go ahead and make a religion check against that. Something you've heard in passing, but not extensively yet. Nope. I rolled a four. <laughs> uh, it's, Maris, tell me your I don't know, know who that is. <laughs> Um, well, obviously, I'm there with her as well. The Night Mother, knowing that Saloon is the god of the moon. Mm -hmm. um, can I use an intelligence check? Or religion check, same thing. It would be a religion check, yeah. Uh, that's an eight. An eight, yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, I you guys just picked the wrong books to read. You, you know, it's, I, I remember that there was a different name for Lathander in yeah. the... Uh, so I would imagine that uh, perhaps this dark mother or night mother that he refers to is probably another name for Saloon. It's possible. Um, mm, definitely. I... No? I, well, I could be wrong. I am not very good at these things. <laughs> I got an eye. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna sort of put on like a pon ponderous face and say, um, perhaps you have felt her presence wane, but she looks to return and bring you healing here. Healing. Maybe. Thank you. Thank you for what you've done. <clears throat> now, um, I believe the, the, uh, Indir, uh, Kolyan Indirovich's adopted daughter, and yes, and uh, 
and his son are intending to bury the, fa the father, yes. It's not what you told me. That, uh, what's her name? Uh, Irina. Irina. You uh, said yeah. adopted. adopted, yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, oh, his... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm s just a bit groggy. Yes, um, she... She was found at the base of, of the, of the of the the pillar stone of Castle Ravenloft there in the woods. Um, Kolyan found her as a babe and raised her, loved her as his own. She and Ismark grew up as brother and sister. I don't know. Surely Ismark knows, but no one has told her such. Oh, she does red hair. Know. Those dark features look so different from Eastmark, don't you think? Um, I you guys will honestly will can't remember what he looked this, like. Um, to this village map here, um, which is going to look like darkness free for a second, but then I will show you the um, uh, the mm, yeah images of Irena and Eastmark from before. Right. So let's not tell her. <laughs> yes, um, please don't. And what did you say that she was leaving? Yes, um, we ten, intend to escort her away from here. Uh, she's been attacked by a creature not, um, She's been attacked by a creature. Yes. Um, well, the... Uh, while there is a stronger city, there are stronger cities than this one, uh, more protected ones. Uh, um, I'm sure some might suggest Valaki. It's the largest city here. It's a walled city, but there is a powerful abbot leads a monastery in the village of Kresk, further west. She may be safe there. Okay. You may want to look into that as well, beyond what Thank the ideas you. you have. When we buried her father's body. Yeah. Let's... He has a site prepared. I will make the preparations for the proper burial, if he will bring them here. Mm -hmm. One other thing, priest. A large wolf. What can you tell us of this thing? Arch wolf? Arch? It looked something like this. And I turned into a dire wolf. <laughs> he staggered ah! back. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh. You bring these creatures with you, mage. What devilry have you summoned on this hallowed ground? Oh, he's uh, no devil. He's just got very good tricks. I don't know he's merely showing you an image. Are you some Vistani creature then? What is it? it... I, I uh, circle around a few times and then lay down like a dog. Okay. I, I would like to jump in and say it, it is perfectly safe. He is just showing you an image so that we can ascertain what the threat was. We okay. just want to know. Go ahead and make a persuasion check. Ah. Can, I, can I aid it with that, obviously? This sort sure, of you guys have both been sort of tag teaming yeah. this explanation. I'm proficient. <laughs> What's that, just Waldo? I was going to say, this sort of behavior is very common uh, beyond the mists. You get advantage, Elena. Oh, that's exciting. 60. Calling me, me common <laughs> lizard. <laughs> um, he seems to calm somewhat. Okay. Very well. Um, no. Nothing like this that I recall. No. Is he lying? <laughs> Go ahead and make an insight check. Say. 16. Seems very afraid. Please, father. Untrue. No. He's telling the truth. He's, he's lying. Seems, yeah. 
He's he's he seems to be truthful, though very right. afraid. Very well. We'll go get the body. Let's go bury the dead. <laughs> Is that part of the funeral, right? And just so you know, <laughs> here's an image of who you've been talking to. Just so you know. Ah, he looks a little crazed. That is yeah. an enormous nose. <laughs> <laughs> there is a tired oh, look okay. behind his eye. Uh, okay, so you head back to the Burgomaster's mansion. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. um, you will notice again, it is a sort of unusually foggy day, especially for midday. The mists seem to swirl around the streets a bit more, pulling at your feet. Crossing halfway through town, you hear again the sobbing coming from the upper floor of one townhome. I get through <laughs> All right, I would like, as we're walking by, just to speak quietly to Maris. Um, I'm not really comfortable leaving that alone. I I agree, but do you think we could get the rest of our party to agree to? Do you think we should bury the man and then? No, I absolutely absolutely take care of the burial first. But um, it pains me to leave someone in distress like that. And it could be related to everything that's happening. That's true. That's true. Um, we should bring it up with them later. Onward. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please, just open a random door. And... <laughs> I can do that with thaumaturgy. No one has to touch the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm walking into random doors right now. <laughs> it's like the perfect remote control. Yeah. Are we getting any funny looks walking back into town with a large bloody wolf? I forgot he was gullible. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, you see a couple doors slam shut. Certainly. Um, are you? You're still a dire wolf. Hey, yep. Okay. Can Essie just lay on top of him. Yeah. Are you okay, yeah. Essie? You don't look yourself. Right as rain, just wanting to get this over with. I go and check her and check her the wound. And I determine go what's make, happened. Go ahead to and her. make a medicine check. Seventeen. Um, okay. Um, there is th these. This wound around her neck is not healing particularly well. Um, bandaged up, it still seems to just ooze a bit of blood. Hmm. Um, it's. We need to keep to an eye on a, that. Some time to heal, at least. Yeah. I'll look for some herbs to see if that will help. I have the same problem, by the way. Very good. Let's carry on. <laughs> <sighs> um, um, if if Essie comes over, uh, I'll I give her a sniff and give her a lick, and then I'll get down so it's easier to get on my back if she wants. Yeah, she's just going to do that thing where it's like you know where like you've seen like people just put like bodies on top of horses where they're just like. Just, just, like over. It's just like, like over. Yeah, it's just over. Like she just looks at you and then just plops down and then just lays there. Mm. <laughs> it looks comfortable. On the uh, uh first very soft. Is only for one. It's like do you join in just Walter? Yeah. Well I was just so, thinking he, he seems a, for some reason seems much more relatable as a wolf. Uh. <laughs> Dog person, dog person. <laughs> uh, on the walk back, uh, DM, can I look for any herbs that may help? Yeah. Um, I was going to say, once you reach the Burgomaster's Mansion, particularly, you know it's on this sort of um, set up on sort of a grassy cos copse um, around it. There are these thicker, more overgrown areas that you can sort of go to forage through, if you'd like. Yes, um, go ahead and make a nature check to try and identify the correct... Uh, 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 nature 21 wow very good um yeah you find um a number of things the thing about it is the 
nature of her wounds not healing are it's less a, a medical problem and yeah. more of a supernatural problem you know that you do however think that um part of a, a particular uh uh breed of wild parsley that you found um could certainly ease her pain and ease her um struggle with yeah, it my lack and of could strength. make her recovery a bit easily more uh, make her recover more easily so i'll find some of that okay yep you're able to harvest a couple sprigs um, a couple yeah plants let's see come here let's have a look and as we're walking back and obviously i'm walking alongside the wolf and break me off and chew it in my mouth and put slap it onto the wound rub it in a bit oh god that's gross it does stink a bit but it will help God, that's oh god that's so gross oh um, if i yeah. heard you just slap you it would it does feel noticeably better though um you feel if you know if this was a day where you got two hours of sleep the night before this was that good cup of coffee like the fifth one where you felt like a normal person at least for a little while um it stings but you feel sort of a bit more feeling in your fingers that you hadn't felt before you don't feel quite so numb at least for a bit oh, no. then easy. i'll walk alongside just wall down and i'll say chew on this for a minute don't eat it and then rub it on your wound uh, okay <laughs> Thank you very much. Just wallow. It's a similar effect. You're welcome. Ah, it feels, it feels better. Uh, yes. It's very better. poisonous, but you should be okay. Well, at least I won't have to endure this for much longer then. <laughs> I smile. Oh, goodness. Uh, have you made it back to the house? You have, yep. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, knock on the door. Uh, they will open, uh, greet you, cautiously open. You will see Irina, or Irena is again, has the breastplate strapped on. Um, she's kind mm -hmm. of constantly adjusting at her shoulder. Um, now has a, is equipped with a rapier too. And uh, 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 the, uh, sorry, uh, Eastmark has two short swords strapped to his, each side. Uh, a short sword on each side, another dagger at his thigh, and is wearing a nice set of leather armor. You notice so they seem to be prepared. Mm -hmm. uh, in the receiving room to the side, the drawing room, their father still sits in a makeshift coffin. Uh, the flowers are being to wilt a bit, but you notice another uh, couple bouquets that seem to have been recently gathered and placed on top. Um, I approach and say the uh the priest is ready to enter your father um and we are more than happy to assist with bearing him to his place of final rest um are you prepared to make that journey we would be honored to receive your assistance after all you've done thank you of course she says um and uh, Eastmark nods solemnly and says, well, very well. Uh, I suppose it's my duty then. I didn't think it'd come so soon, but you will help me. And he goes and takes, you know, at the, the head of the casket um, to the right, he mm -hmm. goes and sort of takes his place as a pallbearer. Um... Where would you like me? Oh, what's the easiest way to do this? Um, well, we'll need four, at least. Maris? Maris volunteers, yeah. Okay. Uh, of our remaining crew, who looks like they might be able to have something? I mean, if you strapped it on me, I could, but... But Essie's also <laughs> writing. <laughs> Just while he was sort of standing there looking solemn and nodding, just like. Mm. Just while there. Mm. Oh, <laughs> yes, of course. Ah, yes, I would be. Uh, I'm so sorry. Yes, uh, happy. Or oh, not happy. I would be 
What did she she said on I will be honored to help you. Uh, I'll walk over to help. You okay. lie, you know you can't lift that thing. Go back to sleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she just like now she shifted from like like over the like to just like writing and just like she's got a face full of like back neck fur. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just like, yeah. so <laughs> not um, like this anymore, but like that. <laughs> face planted. <Yeah. laughs> uh, so with four of you, it's more than it's very easy to bear the coffin forward. Mm-hmm. Um, be able to pick it up from the table on which it's set. It creaks for a moment, and you think, oh, God, this body's gonna fall through because they just made this with furniture pieces, but it seems to hold, though a bit creaky. And uh, though when it's moving around, the flowers laid upon it no longer really mask the odor of death. It is time its body was buried, you can tell. Can I press the digitation that smell? You can, uh, though you will see Irena and Eastmark both cast you a um, nervous glance when you start casting spells in there. It's just to make the flowers more fragrant. Make a deception check. (laughs) (laughs) Fourteen. I wrote a five! Pretty good for a five. (laughs) Fourteen. You know, I'm going to have to roll against that. Oh god, I just realized I opened a beer about half an hour ago and it's been sitting there. God, what's going on? What a crime. That's the same. <laughs> wow. Damn shame. Well, now it's how you like it. It's warm, right? Those oh, Brits, they like there. that warm beer. I was <laughs> just sitting there thinking, God, I could do with a drink. And I just looked at the beer and then looked back at the screen. I was like, what? It's a D&D <laughs> miracle. <laughs> oh, funny. Uh, Irena will look at you and say, please, let us honor honor." my father's memory the way we wished you just a bit just a bit longer no tricks enjoy the smell of decay i guess i can't smell anything she gives you a a hurt look (laughs) like i'm just trying to be nice here doesn't seem like it <laughs> from her perspective <laughs> and she leads the procession out so um if they'll let me i'll i'll um i kind of like stand up very straight and you know dog like i guess but put my head up very um like formally and i'll try and lead the procession um you will notice irena giving you a couple glances um, and then just kind of shakes her head and sighs as if she doesn't really know what to do anymore. (laughs) The uh, dark circles beneath her eyes and the uh, paleness of her flesh seem to have increased somewhat. She seems very tired and weary by all of this. You know, not every one of our group is weird. (laughs) You say this aloud. I, I, uh, He's not. No, himself. no. This will be a, this will be an internal <laughs> monologue. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna call over and I just can. Can you uh, come here for a sec? Just give me a hand, real quick. I just need to shift this and just ask her. Like, okay, I just, she'll come around and kind of. Uh, yeah, just yes. uh, reposition. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, I, I hope. You are not, I, I'm, I'm sorry if you were offended by my friend. I assure you she's just trying to help and we're still trying to understand how you guys do things here. We're, we're from a different area. We mean no harm or disrespect and please understand we just want to help you in the best way that we can. Um, it's, it's fine. Um, we're not, we're just, we're not practitioners of magic or anything. I just 
my I just want at least for my father to be born to his natural burial mm -hmm. um, there's nothing wrong with it but he's this was not the that that was not the way he lived in life, and I just, I I, I appreciate the thought, and I take no offense. I promise. Mm -hmm. um, I, I I apologize if my own response was harsh. It's totally fine. You've been through a lot lately. Um, I'll I'll sort of reshift it and take okay. it up again. And as as we're walking, I do I do ask. Um, is a lack of magic. Are the 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 non practice typical here? Um, there aren't no, there's aren't many who practice such things. Some say that all that all the Vistani have some type of magic, but I don't really believe that. So don't ask, don't tell my brother about that. But um, uh, is there this, any part of this area where people who practice magic are actively uh, hunted? No, no, nothing like that. But they're just That's good. Good to know. I think we should continue. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And push along. You guys hear a audible howl as you get within four hundred feet of the church or so. Uh oh. And those of you with passive perception of fifteen or higher can see a couple shapes dart between some of the houses. The mist seems to be rolling back in across the street. Can I make out what they are? Do I smell anything? Make a perception check. All right. Um, I have advantage on perception che checks that rely on hearing or smell. Go ahead. Yep, advantage then. Okay, You're trying to smell cool. them. Uh, boop, boop. 19. Wolves. And something else. The hair on the back of my neck and down my back goes up. Mm. And I start letting out a very low growl. Sorry, are you okay? And just I'm just like looking around and trying to figure out where they're at or what's happening exactly. Movement yeah. in the Another shadows. Another course of. Sorry, go ahead. I say movement in the shadows. Ready your weapons. Yep. Another. <laughs> How far away are we from the hallowed ground? Um, you're you're about like I said, about four hundred feet. You're closing pretty qu quickly, but um, the sound of footfalls now, chorus of them. Is that approaching us closer? Getting very close. Um, Miss Mark, I think we might need to take a short break if we need to prepare to defend ourselves here. Uh, no, we're almost there. If we could just maybe pick up the pace a little. Okay. All right. Let's push on, I guess. Uh, uh, Elimis, um, you go stand with your sister and the wolf. I've got this. <laughs> Mary Steven, he does say, uh, yeah. Protection spells you can cast. Do I have any, what sort of detection? Pr protection spells that you can cast. Oh, um, well, I can cast less on us, mm. on a number of us. Perhaps prepare to do that when for when you see hostiles. The mist behind you seems to take on a different pattern of movement. And you can see padding paws coming behind you. Can I ready a spell? Sure. For when I can see one? Mm -hmm. If they're aggressive, obviously I'll... They, they seem to be following you. Hmm. They emerge from the mist. You see maybe a dozen wolves coming in your direction. You hear more footfalls around the side to your left and to your right. A chorus of howls rises again. 
I, the ones in front I, begin to break into a trot heading your direction. I let out the biggest, scariest howl I can. Okay, go ahead and make an intimidation check. <laughs> okay. I... D&D, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, it's equally bad as a wolf or as myself. Oh, no. Okay, zero. A zero. So you let out this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Simba in the Lion King, right? When he's trying to like. Oh, no. Also, like that, you let out. Arr! You don't quite get there, and you're like, oh, shit, even the middle of it. And you try and finish it. Like, you try and go through it, but it just gets keeps getting worse. Like so, a really uh, bad vocal crack. Yeah, That's what I was uh, really just thinking. Yeah. Not <laughs> used to these mammalian bodies. And then up on the corner of a house near you. You guys are now only about 100 feet, 150 feet from the church. You see a familiar figure, a horse-sized dire wolf shaggy black hair and red glowing eyes that lets out a fearful howl and <laughs> and with one bound leaps off and <laughs> impacts and all the wolves begin running in your guys's direction from three sides the cemetery is ahead of you what do you do uh, run to the run. cemetery. Run cemetery. Run. Okay. Uh, Are you yeah, carrying I, the coffin? Yes. Well, yeah, because yeah. that's the thing. So we're just like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be moving at half speed by carrying it along. Uh, DM question. Yeah. Perfect. The uh, the main dire wolf is behind us, correct? Yes. And near, it seems to have called even more wolves to your guys' direction. Uh, I'm getting off of Sarive's back. Okay. Um, I'm going to, I'm letting everybody run past me. And I'm keeping up the back part of it. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to ready a spell. Okay. What what would you think about taking the body out of the coffin and running with it? No. And we go faster? Keep running. The wolves close within to about 30 feet of you all. I was going to say, just on it whispers. The I'll just okay. start firing off one? Ray of Frost. The main wolf. Okay. And I'm diving towards the back to be, to be rear guard as well. No. It simply makes eye contact with you. You feel like the spell should have taken effect and it just shakes its head and then... It still takes um, half as much damage. Okay, what was the damage roll for that? Uh, 14, so half to 7. Okay. Psychic you look and it, it, it twitches its head for a second but and it its eye just twitches but then it kind of fades it almost looks like whatever was done to this creature was nothing it's the damage seems to have just rushed across it and it is slowly padding in your direction i am just wolves... saying that at least half of this weight is clearly the coffin <laughs> i'm casting ray of frost as i'm running at the creature okay to slow it down go ahead Onto one of the wolves. Or onto the big bad. Just to onto the big bad. Just yeah. to slow it down right. if I can. Can I also cast twelve um, Scorching Ray while running to do the little pew pew pew? Uh, unfortunately, the twelve will miss a yeah. dire wolf form. And yes, you can let forth a Scorching Ray. No, no, don't do that. We the... need you to carry the coffin. <laughs> is that, that is a good point. As you are carrying, mm. um, you are you do have your hands full. Okay. Um, I can cast with my hands full. I would like to cast an Eldritch Blast. You have to. You have to be with your shield, though, right? Or is it? Or do you have Warcaster? Yeah. Okay. It's a weapon or shield? Isn't that the not coffin? <laughs> <laughs> you <a> weapon. 
<laughs> we can still use them as clocks. You can make a disadvantaged Eldritch Blast attack by looking back around it. So certainly. Uh, so we're still running while all this is happening. <laughs> apparently. Uh, yeah. Uh, if yeah, and you guys are getting about. You're about halfway there now, maybe 50 feet to the the cemetery. The wolves are 10 feet nipping at your heels. Yes, we just I would like. <laughs> can I cast another spell? Yep, you can. I would like to cast another dissonant whispers. Okay, on the big bad. Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead. It's, it's a wisdom save of 15. Yep, and again, it kind of twitches and seems to laugh in your direction. I cast sleep at the wolves. Okay. Go ahead and roll those uh, amounts. And again, it's like this damage should have taken hold in it a bit, but it just stares at you with beet red eyes, seemingly. Oh, this wasn't at him. This was at the wolves that are nipping at our heels. Yeah, I was saying for um, for Essie's dissonant whispers. Yeah. It kind of twitches its head back and forth. And it stops and just lets out a howl, and the wolves keep going in your direction. How far are we from the um, the cemetery? About fifty feet. Fifty yeah. or fifteen? Fifty. Isaac, thank you. Uh, so, uh, hey, this uh, this devil Estrad uh, that you talk about, uh, does he have any pets? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're just panting. I, we have to hurry. Your idea isn't a bad one. <laughs> uh, 18 on the sleep thing. Okay. Uh, you see three wolves oh. fall <laughs> unconscious, face yeah. down in the mud. Nice, Peter. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, does anybody have a way to open this coffin very quickly? We're not opening the coffin. But they just said it was a good idea. I mean, maybe a spell oh, that you would use to... Maybe the spell that you would use to open a door? I mean, I do have a crowbar. Okay, thaumaturgy. <laughs> Didn't you say Are you doing it? But it I was... have to hold the coffin. I think it's just verbal, or is it verbal did, somatic? Did Eastmark say that he was okay with us opening the coffin? Yeah, wasn't... Was the good idea that the... That Strahd has a wolf pet? Um... <laughs> That, that's what some people are assuming. Uh, <laughs> it's not really known. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we should. Is he is he making any move to um, remove the, the coffin from his shoulder? Or the way that he's carrying it? He's looking at you guys like, what are we going to do? Because the wolves, you're, you're going to have, they're going to meet you before you get there with the pace of the coffin. Yeah. Okay. We are um, taking it out of the coffin. On the, no, on the count of three, we're going to we're going to all put it down and turn and defend ourselves. What? Okay. No, 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 no. This is a terrible idea. idea. Just no. run. I, I'm getting conflicting. I'm, I throw myself right into the fucking thick of them. SC does too. I, okay. I dropped the coffin. Okay. Looks like that's what we're doing. <laughs> that's what they're doing. So I'm just going to keep going. I got it. the coffin. I'm sorry if your ankles get hurt. <laughs> okay. End chase, begin initiative then, I guess. <laughs> we'll do theater of this the mind is so stupid! <laughs> <laughs> like, I was trying to make time for you guys to go! This wolf just shrugged off, like, everything that was thrown at him. Okay. This is a running <laughs> situation. This is a running scenario. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Actually... Oh, this is funny. Yeah, go go ahead. Uh, so question. If we, if we go into initiative order, but four of us are carrying the coffin, yeah. how does that work? Uh, it's going to be tough. You'll have to figure out, like, if you have a hand free, you can't move away, lest the coffin be dropped, or other people have to uh, sort of keep up with the weight. It's going to be complicated. We got the okay to take the body out of the coffin. We are. We should do that. Okay. Definitely. Um, do we have tokens with which to roll initiative, or are you just doing it manually? I pulled. Oh, I, I pulled myself. I didn't pull everyone over to this map here. So go ahead and pull a token onto the blank battle map here. 
So I have a question too. Yep. Sorry, Peter. No, um, you're fine. So even if we were to keep, <laughs> let's say we do open the coffin, we okay. take out the body. We're yeah. still running with the body. Is there a chance like that we get to the cemetery and the wolves are like, never mind. Like, aren't we going to have to face them eventually anyway? I don't know. It's hallowed ground. That is what Jeswaldo is thinking. <laughs> yeah. But wasn't the dire wolf like on the church before anyway? Yeah. yeah. The church, was well, not no, hallowed. The, the the church, church wasn't hallowed. hallowed. Oh, that's right. Oh, man. Okay. Oh. I kind of want to take the body out. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, but it's majority find rules. My people here. So no, it's fine. It's fine. We can take the body out. Just whoever has the first opportunity to do it should. Mm. So I can cast thaumaturgy. I think without so we my hand. Blow that thing up. <laughs> We've got some pallbearers back here we've got the leaders here whoever was trailing behind i believe that was essie um if someone was behind go there i believe you are large yep uh who's the last pallbearer what am i missing oh here? sorry oh, it's me maris yeah go ahead yeah. and put yourself right here yeah sorry uh, i'm all zoomed in would you mind clicking again where you need me is it next to Claire. Yeah. Yeah. Good grief. Why is this not working? What did you just pull in? That looked like a manatee. Are you dragging the, the name or the token? I'm trying to drag the token, yeah, but it's it just the name. Keeps taking you have to drag everything. the name. Yeah, you have to click on uh, it. And drag it on. Uh, that's helpful information for me to codify into my brain. Aha. Okay. I'm rolling this yeah, so um, I say we try to make it we've got n no spells we've got no we have very little healing left we've got an indestructible wolf this is run this is not fight okay uh each one of these represents uh oops i mean if we don't take the body out and run now we run the risk of like having to leave the body to save ourselves and yeah. i think that would be worse i agree that is worse yeah. So this thing is here, just kind of shaking its head. Um, this, these e each represent a cluster of three wolves that are running. Oh, oh my god. god. Sort of in tandem with you, with you. So, all right. Oh, I suppose I should roll an issue. Yes. Oh. Okay. If that is what we are doing, but we will just start tracking it here. Uh, do we have the choice to not do this? Um, it. I mean, it, it, depending on what you guys want to do, I'm. I'm up. I'm up to hearing what you guys. But I heard turn and fight, so I rolled initiative. So. Yeah, I we'll think we turn. Whatever I think we turn and fight. Yeah. I think turn and fight. Someone dies. Mm -hmm. I think turn and fight. In the best case scenario, we lose the body. Worst case case scenario, somebody dies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, last do you still, off, you still want to take the body out of the box. If we have the opportunity to do it, yeah. Okay. It looks like you guys don't have the opportunity with how close they are. We might be able to. Well, okay. it, if, we, if we're not in initiative and we're not having to do things one at a time, if we just say we are doing this a la D&D, &D, um, then we might have a chance. I, it's up to the DM. I mean, you've got a good point, Peter. Uh, the decision was made to turn and fight. So if that's what we're going to do, that's what we're going to do. But I'm just saying. Well, if you we have. Still if we have the option to not fight, to not roll initiative and not do this, if you were giving us that option, that is the option I think we should do. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Well, let's go this way. So everyone roll an initiative. If you would like to describe a non-combat action and course of action and even sort of type of held action, we will be very loose on the 5e combat rules here because this is not a necessarily tactical um uh, situation here. So if someone says, I want to do this, this, and this, we'll just go with that. If the next character helps them with that, we can just propel it forward. But we've discussed a lot. Now you guys need to start making some decisions. Okay. So uh, are we all on the roll, the tracker here? Mm -hmm. Looks like yeah. it. Okay. So, Jess Waldo, 
you've heard some murmuring, you've heard maybe some agreements, some unsure as you've seen your direwolf friend turn to fight. What do you do and what do you say to your companions? I say, we need to take the body out of the coffin. And I lay down my part of the coffin and I hold an action to grab the body as soon as it is there to okay. be grabbed. The three of you, you see here, Eastmark, okay. <clears throat> he seems to respond that way. And you... Also, the other two of you feel the coffin weigh a bit heavier on you as just Waldo gets, lets go of his corner. You've heard his statement. All right, Essie. I'm standing in front of them in the wolves and I'm going to hold an action for Dishonored Whispers again because it's the only thing I have um, for the main wolf. And uh, I'm going to stand my ground if they're going to to grab the body like it th like the wolf's gonna have to go through me okay uh noted do you step forward at all yeah she is she's literally like in the middle in like the front of like running up to here like suicidal not suicidal but like where she's standing where i put her okay is she's right there and she's in front of everybody okay got it saurive uh right. and the dissonant whispers uh save um this one uh the it seems to be a natural save where the previous ones seem to be some sort of preternatural ability. This one feels like when it normally doesn't take like a 19 on the roll. So go ahead and roll your damage. That was initiative because my things, hmm? sorry. My it's all right. You're fine. Okay. Again, it twitches its head a bit. It is staring at you, and you swear there's something non-animalistic about the eye, something incredibly intelligent as it makes direct eye contact with you. And it seems to be padding directly towards you, head cocked just a bit. I'm not flinching. Eye contact with you. Okay. Sarif, what are you doing? Um, I rush past to this first group of wolves and actually kind of over here to try and body block a little bit. Okay. Uh, and I'll just try and munch one of these wolves. Okay. That's a crit. Yes. Um, you will munch damage. one right through the neck. They don't even, that's absolutely... Uh doesn't even need to roll a save. You just break his neck. Sure. That's it for me. And two of the other ones sort of flinch away then. Uh, go ahead and make an attack of opportunity if you want to use your reaction to do so. Uh, wow. Okay. Yep, 11 is hit. actually, well, you will kill another wolf as it backs <laughs> away. You will it, you will grab it by its hind leg and when you rip it, um, you see its pelvis just kind of break. And the uh, spine, as, and then you whip it over your head, and you see the spine sort of bend into an unnatural position. You throw it away, and it goes tumbling across the street. And then I look at the big wolf, and I'm staring it down. All right. Okay. It. Elimus. Uh, Elimus will hold a spell for if any wolves come close to Essie. Okay. And then tell her, get out of there. Claire. Right. I would like to follow Jeswaldo's lead, um, and is and if Amara said she had thaumaturgy, does will that open the box? Yeah, it will. If it's not locked, okay. You can pop so, it. all right. So what I'm gonna um, follow Jeswaldo's lead as far as lowering it. I'm gonna try to support it as the other two will bring the weight down as well. And then the minute the box is on the ground, I'm going to um, prepare for the thaumaturgy to be cast to get the body out. Okay. That's just Jez Waldo with whatever he's going to be doing. Cool. Noted. All right. 
it is the turn of the wolves. Now, um, Essie, these big red eyes continue to stare at you, and I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Please, 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 please. Fifteen. You hear in your head. Oh. I like this one. I'll play with you later. Now, you need to run. And you feel physically compelled to do so under the car charmed condition. Um, I have advantage against being charmed. Can I roll again? You can. God damn it. Unfortunately, this voice, even though it goes against everything in the fiber of your being, must be obeyed. And bring your wolf friend, the pretender, as well. As he just pads forward and stares in your direction. The other wolves, this one, these three, come and attack you, Sarif. They have advantage to be doing this. Um, what's your, 14. I have to roll a bunch of attacks. 14? Yep. Um, I have 123 uh, for five piercing and I need a strength save. Can my spell go off? Yes. Uh, oh. um, they're not approaching her uh, okay. per se. Uh, is that your condition? It was the if it was approaching Essie, yeah. But I mean, if they're coming from the right to the left, would I know if they're going for Essie or not? Um, it's a bit. It, meta -game, they seem but... to simply be converging on your friend at the moment. <laughs> okay. um, so not quite yet. Okay, you're fine. You so Elimus, you see this one, these three closing towards her. Go ahead and release your spell. It'll be another sleep. It'll be Vertis Montes de Longe, and it'll go out for my last spell, guys. 20. Okay, you will see two of the. Excuse me. Um, fall down asleep. And the one seems to be heading for Essie, but just kind of loops around and heads up. The last remaining one makes a bite against Claire's ankles <clears throat> at a 13. Nope. Clings right. off the armor. Nice. Uh, we have a couple coming up for uh, our good old Maris. Three attacks. Three different bites. I have a crit ah. uh, for uh, nine points of damage. Okay. And I need a strength save. Uh, four. Unfortunately, as it gnaws at your ankles, it pulls its head back and you fall prone. Oh, shit. Um, does a 15 hit you? It does. Oh, okay. Then another seven points of piercing damage and uh, let's reroll to see if there's a crit on that. No. But you are now prone. Awesome. This group circles up and comes here to attack Eastmark. I have a one hit once again against him. And oof, it's a nasty one too. Sinks into his ankle. He is able to stay on his feet and ah, we need to go, he says. Mm -hmm. And he will drop his part of the box looking at you guys because Maris you will drop yours as well <laughs> Claire you're the last one holding on I believe right. you so as as that's coming down I'm gonna help just okay basically trying to break break its fall okay 
you are ready to do so. It, the box falls to the ground. Doesn't quite break open, but the lid is loose. Maris, you are up. You are prone. Okay, being prone, can I still cast Thaumaturgy? Yes. Then I will cast Thaumaturgy. <laughs> the lid of the coffin goes flipping off. <laughs> Um, the body of the Burgomaster lies. I get the body out since we were preparing to do that. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so I I'm I believe just Waldo was preparing to do it as well, right? Yes, I was. Okay. Um, but I'm going to sort of get this corpse and give it to his son and his daughter and say, "Run! Get to the chopper! No, get to the uh, <laughs> <laughs> get to the chopper! <laughs> get to the graveyard! Hallowed ground!" Okay, you guys are close. Let's call hallowed ground right here. Okay, so does that mean you're not going? You're not pulling the body as well? I am pulling the body out. Um, okay. So uh, that, I'm, I'm making I sure that you, the... I thought you and uh, and Claire were going to sort of like each take an arm and sort of pull and go. That was the way I was envisioning oh, it. I okay, yeah, we can, we, can, that way. we can totally do that. Yeah. But I just, uh, it's yeah. up to you. That, that was is there my, is there an option to give this body to other people for them to run and go while we while we stay and protect our um, friends? Eastmark ha, uh, has not or has taken his turn, so he's waiting a bit. Uh, um, waiting I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to take it. Okay. okay. All right. Well, so I, up I'll to help you whether I, you want to help Jeswaldo or stand your ground. <sighs> so it's, it would just it would just be her, yeah. Um, so not her and Eastmark. Uh, not yet. He is beset by some wolves right now. There's one that just nipped at Claire's heels. You don't have anyone on you, so um, you guys if, are both free. If the two of us were to carry him together, would we be able to move at normal speed? Yes. All right. I'll help. I'll help Claire. With the with the uh, use of a athletics check, which will be an advantage, and um, oh, great help is whoever wants to do it. I have a uh, natural twenty. Natural twenty for twenty two uh. is perfect. You guys both loop an arm underneath and you know nod at each other and are able to um, burst away from these wolves and this the heels of the former Burgomaster, the late Burgomaster, drag behind you. I believe you can make it basically to yep. the cemetery gate. Okay. So basically Oops. toss him the last five feet and turn. Uh, yeah. Okay. Great. And Jeswaldo, your turn turn comes up now. All right. I will rush forward and strike at the wolf that is attacking. Is this Eastmark or um, yep. Maris? And there are there are three of them there. So essentially, six of them in front of you. These are groups of three wolves. Uh, this okay. is a group. This one is only one. All right. Well, I will attack the one one of the three. Yes. <laughs> so that is a nineteen to hit. Yes. Doing we'll 16 points of damage. Three wolves becomes two. Um, and I will... <sighs> dance away. Okay. And bonus action, step into holy ground. Okay. Um, yeah, because it's just it's a, essentially a swarm token, so you can uh, use your swashbuckler feature. And that certainly... Cool. Essie, it is your turn. You are charmed by a supernatural force, compelled to run. Essie's pissed. Mm. Oh, it's fair. Like, just anger. Um, he said to, to take our lizard friend and run, so uh, she's gonna come over here And attempt to take our lizard friend. 
<laughs> Oath is okay. scaring me. Um, so I guess that's a grapple? It is, if you would like. Um, huh, interesting. Be careful. You can try oh, to grapple him, this but... Is, this is death of character. Oh, I'm aware. Okay. The, the, I, the, my orders were to take my lizard friend and run. I have to take my lizard friend. Okie doke. Um, do you consent to the grapple? Um, I don't think so, actually, no. Okay. He's in the middle of a fight, doesn't know what she's doing. Okay, then you do have to make a... Um, athletics? Uh, athletic. Uh, it'll be an attack roll. Versus athletics 14. or... or what, uh, what kind of attack roll? Just a regular melee attack. So, as if you're using your rapier. Okay. Um, you grab onto the fur. You have firm hold. However, you cannot move a creature larger than yourself. Dig your heels into the dirt. Try and pull him. He doesn't move. However, you are still grappled, um, Sauriv. And it is your turn. Awkward. Um, it is sort of awkward. What I would like to do is pick her up in my jaws and start running. Okay. That's a possibility as well. <laughs> you can move a target smaller than yourself. <laughs> Grappled each other. Or she's already on me. I don't know. Well, in the, in the sense, I suppose, however, however that, do uh, her character would consent to being grappled if you're running away. Yeah, yeah. like, I'm, I'm turning yeah. and, and running. Okay, so you can, you can do that. Stuff. You will take a suite of them, but go ahead. Uh, let's see. I've got... 14 is the number, so I've yeah. got two hits. So uh, I need two strength saves. Uh -oh. oh, great. 13 and 10. Uh, you do fall prone and trip on the first one. Uh, use half my movement to stand up. Okay. Which is 25 feet. And then I dash, so I get 75 feet of movement. <laughs> yeah, nice. That's a fast <laughs> wolf. <laughs> And so I'll, I'll circle around um, a bit so I don't get attacked by the other ones, but I'll, okay. I'll bring us up to, uh, I don't know. Into the ground? Yeah, at least drop her up there. Okay. Noted. I see can move herself up oh, here. To how much damage did I take? Uh, 11 points of damage total. Okay. And it's a Limus's turn. Uh, Stein, stand next to a panicked looking Irena who has drawn her rapier. I turn to say, run to the hell of ground. And I point to the one that's. She's not grappled, is she, uh, Marys? Is she grappled? Um, Marys is prone, but not grappled. Okay, I. Does this one coming in on her? Yeah. Seems to be. Yep. There's. I point six at next that to her one. one coming in. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 where are we cast? I point to that one and say here, Galusumnus, and a ray will come out for sixteen to hit. Nice. Sixteen to hit. hit. Absolutely. Seven damage. Very good. Um, it will recoil a bit from the damage. It is still up, though. Um, oh, wow. Okay. A few icicles coming off of its fur. There was only one left. Uh, yeah, that was just the one left. Three of its pack had been taken off. So, yeah. Anything yeah. else? Um, I will move back into the hallowed ground. Okay. Uh, taking her with me if she if she comes. She's not on uh, the board, yeah. so... She will, if you uh, grab her arm, she will kind of consent, and though keeping her um, sword at the ready, she comes mm -hmm. back with you. So. 
Um, as you are, Claire, as you are, uh, oh no, it's Claire's turn. Yeah. What are you up to? Um, I, hmm. I'm going to, let's see how far can I go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. Okay. I'm going to step up this way and, um, going to make a booming blade attack against one of the um the dudes right here sure yep that one is there's only one there and it is oh, damaged oh, mm -hmm. um okay so weapon attack i'm gonna swing at it with my long sword uh for 17 um and then and like i said cast booming blade along Okay. With that. The blade will not need to boom <laughs> as you slay the last one that uh, Elimus weakened. Okay. Um, and I'm, I'm going to shout at the remaining ones. Um, get the expletive away. <laughs> 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 Probably an expletive in like uh, a foreign language. Yes. Uh, let's, say, let's say abyssal. They okay. would have Ooh, a, a long string of... Uh, expletives in abyssal is <laughs> <laughs> well, coming sounds, out it, of sounds, it sounds a bit like Finnish I hear <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that's it yeah abyssal yeah that's it yeah, sort of gen generally to the group but um, aiming my energy specifically towards the wolves especially the ones that are attacking Maris Okay, cool. <laughs> I like it. Um, are you fleeing back at all? I used all my movement. Okay. So I don't think I can. Got it. Well, I have 10. Oops. I've got 40 feet of movement. Come at me, you. All right, I've got three attacks against you. Um, I've got 23 is my high, and I need a strength save after five points of piercing damage, because I think that hits. Yeah, that definitely hits. My AC is 19. You said five points of damage? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a strength saving throw. <laughs> Seven. You fall prone. I do! That's a yeah. hot Three more will come at you, attacking with advantage in that case. Okay. I've got a 19 and a 23 both, so a cumulative um, 11 more points of piercing damage. That was on top of the first uh, five? Yep. Okay. Got it. All right, now we've got some going at Maris. Maris, are you standing again? Uh, if I can be, I would like to be. <laughs> All okay. she did last turn was cast thaumaturgy. She should have. She would have been able to stand. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, I have a twenty-one to hit you. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Eight points, and I need a strength save. Oh my no! The rest okay. were low. Yeah. Uh, because that's the rest of my hit points. Um. So you're unconscious. Yep. Okie doke. Okay. I scream when she goes down. Remember right. to upgrade the uh, update the indie beyond. Okay. I can't um, get to her. But you, you you do fall unconscious. Okay. Good to know. Yep. Um, Eastmark will look at you, uh, Claire, mm -hmm. and say, "Take her. Go." I nod. Maris, I need a death save. Oh. Oh, she went. You better fucking live. Uh, yeah, he, I agree. <laughs> and he will step around to here and begin to fight the wolves. How do I do the death save? Ooh! Oh, you, oh. okay. You begin your turn. You, natural 20 on that. You pop oh. up with one hit point and you can take your turn. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well done. Oh my wow. god. 
uh, just because that was totally an accident. How do I do the death saves on D and D Beyond? You did it right. I don't you know how, right. okay. but it, okay. you made a death saving throw. Great, cool. Get us out of here. So you uh, have one hit point, and uh, actually, you should heal yourself. Disengage and prone. Disengage. Disengage. Oh, yeah. Uh, if I disengage, though, do they get an attack? Nope. Opportunity? No. No. That's the whole. Oh. That's the point. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I'm running. I'm going. Okay. You can. It, you can disengage and use half your movement. Okay. Oh God. Okay. So, five, ten, fifteen. Okay. As far as um, I East get. Mark still would have been here because I thought um, oh, he was going to go after your turn. Okay. Yeah. So I guess I'm here. Oh, if I no, you're fine. Him, you're fine. You okay? can keep going. So okay. All right, that is very good. <laughs> um, he will say the same thing to you, Claire. He will say, "Go," and he will step into the middle of these here. Okay. Now, um he will take uh, an attack and he will slay two of the wolves to his right you will notice that his character is able to take three attacks Ooh. yeah it's fancy as he's dual wielding these two short swords um just waldo you're up one uh one moment one one two Three, four, five, six. I will bonus action dash. And let's see. Two, one. If I can do this, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, no, I cannot get there. Hmm. So I will move to here. And I will pull out a dart, and I will throw it at one of the wolves here. Okay, I know your dart skills. I, my dart skills, they are legendary. Yes. And I will yell. There's a lot of uh, No need to, I admire your panache, but no need to be a martyr. Your sister needs you. And I throw a dart at one of the wolves. Okay, uh, that make not, that attack. Did it not go? I haven't seen I it did, yet. It well, might be It did come. not go. There we go. Wow. Yes. Yep. A 16 Great. to hit and yes. 16 to damage. Wow. Uh, you are able to slay the last wolf in this spot here <laughs> with your beautiful <laughs> dart skills. <laughs> it's funny. Come on, come on, come on. And done. Essie. She's grabbing Sarif and running away. Mm -hmm. As the voice is commanded, you are now in safety. You should stay. Stay there. She will stay right there. Saurive, you're up now. Um, can I move without issue? Or is she still grabbing me? Uh, you can try and break her grapple. Unless she feels like she's done her part. It's up to her whether or not she keeps the grapple. No. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> then I would like to. Uh, man, it's really hard to see the. Uh... Hold on. Oh, wait. I'm figuring it out. There we go. Okay. I'd like to run down there. And if I can, I would like to grab him. Uh, what's his name? Eastmark. Eastmark. Yeah. Um. He looks behind and he's very confused at first. Um, yeah. And frightened, but um, seems to understand. I would like to grab him and run back with him. Okay, go ahead. Uh, you can absolutely do that. Um, he, you will not. He, attacks of opportunity will not be provoked against him because forced movement. Forced movement. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Engaging with the rules. Elimus, you're up. Um, you see he Claire will... now surrounded. Yeah, point of one oh. in front of Claire. And 
cast the same spell again. 21 to hit for six damage. Nice. Okay. Uh, one of them that uh, took damage from Eastmark's third strike freezes solid and sort of falls over next to her. It shatters. It does. Anything else for you? No, I stay there just encouraging them along. Okay. Claire, you're up. Okay. Quick question about disengage. So that is in place of, say, like the attack action, correct? Uh, uh, yes. Dis disengage so then, would be your so action. I could disengage and then move. Mm -hmm. Um, that's how I understand that. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the disengage would be at half speed, correct? Nope. You just disengage. Oh. That's your action, and you can use your full okay. movement. Okay. So then. I'm doing that. Is it possible for me to drag Maris partway as using some of my regular movement? Uh, regular, no. Half movement, yes. Or I you drag yes. her further away. Yeah. So how 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 far can I get with based on how far I've gotten so far? Um, so five, ten, fifteen. You could get her to you guys to these two squares. I'll say. Okay, <clears throat> I would like to do that. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I got you. You see this wolf just saunter forward. These part for him. And he sits there and sniffs the coffin. And these stagger around and attack at you. Maris. Not good. Um... <laughs> I have a 13, a 5, and a 20 to hit. No! Okay, well, the 20 oh, hits. <laughs> I mean, I'm already screwed. Okay. <laughs> As you fall, Claire. Uh, um, goodness. High of 18. I think they all miss you, uh, right? Yeah, they all miss. My AC's 19. These three wolves come up to Maris and begin licking at her wounds. One makes a deeper bite. Uh, do, do, do. I scream at them to get off. I know that doesn't tell anything, but I do it anyway. So <laughs> just at, just idea. out of curiosity, DM, do you do you follow the uh, the rule of when someone is in completely incapacitated that all attacks are uh, um, auto crits? It is, and it seems to uh, like I was. So it makes a deeper bite. It doesn't quite rip at her flesh. It wraps the teeth, you see it wrap a teeth around her neck and look up at you for a moment and then lick and pull its blow as this saunters forward and looks at all of you. Yeah. Staring with red eyes. Back off. It turns its head to you. Maris, go ahead and make a death saving throw. Okay. <laughs> Are we still on initiative, or is this a little bit limboy? Depends on how this goes. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Eleven. This is That's success. Okay. Yes. Yeah! I'm gonna pull her a little closer to me. Mm-hmm. And look this red-eyed wolf straight in the red eyes and say, get the abyssal fuck away. <laughs> <laughs> you, the eyes stare at you and the wolves back off for a moment and then you hear a... I will... The wolves just stand for a moment. Okay. I'm going to observing closely with my hand still on my sword, grabbing Maris, mm -hmm. and drag her the last few feet back into hall hallowed ground, put her down, and stand in the gateway. The wolves follow you and stand exactly 
at the edge. This wolf, the dire wolf, comes, licks at the blood that Maris spilled on the ground. And he looks up at you, and the mists around begin to billow in your direction. Did you happen to see a bucket? <laughs> <laughs> and then pause its way slowly, slowly back. Past the coffin, which becomes obscured by the mists for a moment. And then the wolves stare for a bit before breaking off and running. Essie, you no longer feel compelled by the charm. We bind the wounds of Maris. I'm going to use all of the rest of my lay on hands on Maris. Okay. Oh, yes, lay on hands. Very, very good. It's like the cheating version of using medicine. It is. What do you mean, like magic? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that's all of them. That's ten. <laughs> ten hit points. Ah. Thank you. We'll see. Um. Irena will share a long glance at Essie's direction. She will look at you for a moment, and then she looks out into the mists and starts to walk forward. They recede. The town begins to reveal itself once again. Is she walking out of the hallowed ground? She is. I would like to try to step in front of her and say, Irina, I, that is not safe to do right now. She kind of points in the direction of the coffin. You want to turn and look in that direction, and it appears to be covered in bouquets of black roses. With a little square piece of paper tucked in top of one, a black I, ribbon tied around it. Uh, I'm you go out, but I'm no, you want that? I'll go. And I run out. I grab it and I run back. <laughs> okay. You're able there you to go. do so. No sounds of howling. Resume. And she just clutches it in her hands, looking at it for a bit. It is sealed with red wax and an ornate S stamped into it like a signet. Stuart. She opens it and looks up, and in fine handwriting, it simply says... My deepest sympathies, love. I will see you soon. Signed, S. And that is where we will cut off. As soon as you guys rest up, um, having survived that, figuring out the and getting the burial, the everything up, you guys are leveling up to level four. Ooh, hey. Level four. Four, four. I get <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Yay. Uh, you, a, a, B, you rolled so damn well, so an ASI doesn't even matter to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so just a little uh, curio, um, would lesser restoration um, undo the effects of the uh, temporary hit point or the maximum hit point loss? Are you asking as a in character or? No, I'm asking as a as a uh, curious uh, player. Okay. Or are we done with the stream? Uh, it's not offline yet, but yeah. Oh well, we're still yeah. here. We'll, we'll wait until we'll that, wrap that, up that, the story there. Um, that we'll is information that happens happens behind yes. the curtain. Yes. Yes, who knows we may present some you know behind the scenes stuff as we continue to go and that would be fun <laughs> and character interviews and certain yeah. perspective recaps that are in the works and stuff like that so um yes anywho it's always yeah. fun to hear perspective uh, see how one person <laughs> perceives something <laughs> the lens of a lizard or of a 
of a bard or a wizard. So, yeah. anywho, thank or you all for coming out. Um, that was harrowing in the best way. <laughs> yeah. Um, next show is we've got Aeroff on Sunday, and then we've got Trapped at Home on Sunday evening. So, yes, uh, at a different time, 5 p.m. Yep. Eastern Standard Time is an hour earlier. Yeah, which is yeah, gonna that's be a good reminder for me. me too. <laughs> it's going to be great for me so that's great um, I'm really looking forward to it I think it's going to be a really, really yeah, exciting session I'm looking forward to it too um, thank you very much for, uh, for, thank you very much for everyone that turned up um, we've had some really great numbers tonight they uh, started to grow again which is good um, for those that are watching um, you know, please chat away we are everyone here is allowed to and encouraged to respond to you in chat when, while we're playing as long as the focus is not on them at that certain time um so yeah um thank you very much for the host etc the follows and hopefully see you see some of you on sunday uh, if not all of you on sunday but yeah cheers guys and see cool. you later bye. Bye. See ya. bye thanks i'm waving but you can't see me <laughs> <laughs> see you later